And now, ladies and gentlemen, a special, very special, heartfelt message from our very own Dan the Man Marshall. Well, now you, you built me up quite a bit. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, we're here today. We're going to be playing some Extinction Curse. Pathfinder. Uh, some Pathfinder. You're already... Extinction Curse. Okay, anyway, <laughs> uh, if you can check the chat, uh, Moobot's got some commands for you. Basically, uh, for this entire weekend, we've been doing a bunch of, uh, uh, we've been donating to charity. Uh, we've had some, God, you already, see, you put me on the spot, James, and now you're stepping on my words. Uh, so yeah, if you check out what Moobot's saying, you can donate to either Code 2040, which was, uh, given to us by roll 20 they essentially said hey you guys do this we'll match your donation so every donation there uh will be matched by roll 20 and then the other one is the uh color of change uh and both of these if you donate to them we have some giveaways that you can be a part of i believe if it's the code 2040 if you uh donate five dollars you get entered uh you get an entry in and if you do the uh ch ch color of change you brain fart you get uh you add one dollar it's one entry five dollars is five entries that kind of thing uh yeah but they both have different kind of stuff and we've been doing this you know obviously for black lives matter which is very pertinent this time uh and it's a very important and good thing that it's happening now especially uh and we just want to say here at roll the roll we 100 percent support black lives matter and the protests that have been going on of late yeah and Everyone out on the street tonight, said, stay safe and look and, out for each other. Yes, stay safe. Watch out for each other. <laughs> put put parking cones over top of tear gas canisters, the ones without the hole in them. Mm. Bring your leaf yeah, blower. And now we're going to hear <laughs> a little bit from Bevan because Bevan loves you guys. Bevan? Yes, sir. I heard. Oh, you are Alrighty. so loud. Woo! All right, Oops, well, that's sorry. Good. Everybody will hear you. Get it done, Bevan. Good. And also, you know what else is good? The cross sticks. That way you don't have to pick stuff up with your hands. But I digress. Uh, thanks for joining us, everybody. This weekend, as you've read in the blurb and you've heard all weekend, we believe Black Lives Matter and to show our support. This weekend, we are streaming to benefit Code 2040 and Color of Change. Um, we will have different commands that you can type in to learn more about these organizations after I read them off right now. And we'll also have our giveaway um, giveaway rules in those commands as well. Um, so we are in partnership with Roll20, um, supporting Code 2040, and Code 2040's mission is to activate, connect, and mobilize the largest racial equity community in tech to dismantle the structural barriers that prevent the full participation and leadership of Black and Latinx people in the innovation economy. A donation to Code 2040 helps create an innovation economy where Black and Latinx people are contributing at all levels and all roles at a proportional rate to their demographics in the U.S. Learn more at, and we'll provide the website. Um, and with this one for the Code 2040, last night we did it where if you donate, you know, one donation of $5, you could, you know, get one entrant per 100 uh, tier. But this time, any uh, multiple of $5 will get you one donation per $5, and we'll do a new drawing at every 100 tier. And once we get that, we will start over, you know, again from the beginning. But we don't want to limit you to just $5 per tier. That's kind of stinky. So for Code 2040 tonight, we are starting off with a Pathfinder 2E um, <clears throat> Game Mastery Guide PDF. And then, oops, I'm sorry. No, I'm not sorry. I was looking at the wrong, I was looking at Saturdays. Let me scroll down. Jesus, Sunday night, Bevan. I know. We are starting with... Cody. I know. We are starting with one core rule book tonight for the first drawing. And then after that, two combined sets, including book one and two of the Extinction Cursed Adventure Path. Ooh, so you've been watching this and enjoying this. Guess what? We're going to be able to give you a set you all up perfectly. And then we are also donating through to Color of Change. And Color of Change is the nation's largest online racial justice organization. They help people respond effectively to injustice in the world around us. As a national online force driven by 1.7 million members, they move decision makers and corporations and government to create a more human and less hostile world for Black people in America. Learn more at colorofchange.org. And for this one, it is a $1 equals one entrance. And this is for physical Pathfinder 2nd Edition books. 
brought to you by our good friend John, who I don't believe is playing in this game, but he was playing last night. Um, and for that, we are giving away a Pathfinder 2E Game Mastery Guide or a set of Bestiary Battle Cards. Um, the shipping is limited to the 48 contiguous United States, mainly in Canada and mainland Mexico. Um, please join our Discord for both of these if you don't think you're going to be present for the drawing at stream end. And if we can't contact you within 24 hours for either of these, a new winner will be chosen. Also, if you do want to um, make an anonymous donation or if you don't want to be entered in the drawing and you just feel like given, just go ahead and mention that in the comment there. Um, I think that should be about it. Unless I completely forgot something. I think we're good. We're good? Oh, no, we're not, because I have to go and donate um, uh -oh. $500 to uh, start us $500? off. Not $550. Oh, my God. No, I no, looked no, at no. a you grand said, total. You said $500. I wish I could I, afford $500. I $500. Now, we are starting off a $50 donation, though. Um <laughs> So we were going to be halfway to our first milestone. Yeah, man. So now that I don't want to donate $500, if I could, I would. But unfortunately, I have bills and I want to live and eat food. But I do want to donate what I can. So I'm going to start us off. But other than that, you're good to go. All right. Thank you, Bevan. And everybody else is back. So we're halfway to our right. first set of donations. I will add a few uh, contingencies here. Not contingencies, but uh, limits. Marshy and myself playing today. We are not eligible for any of these because we're technically roll the roll main membership staff. Uh, the other four players are indeed eligible. Uh, unfortunately, Alice, due to the large uh, creek between us, we won't be able to mail you physical things. But well, if you would across like to, the pond. Yeah, if you would like to <laughs> all right, get some all right. Extension curse stuff. Go right ahead and get it, mate. Ooh. So, uh, I, I don't know. Do, does anybody uh, ha have a little story or anything they want to say? Anybody have anything on their mind according to the uh, unprecedented uh, things going on? I will open up the stage for anyone. Otherwise, I am going to get right into it and start killing players. I mean, uh, <laughs> let's go. I'm ready to die. I'm not Matt. You can no. kill Matt because right. it doesn't affect me, right? I'm ready to hide behind Marshy. Wait, hold I, on. Now it's working again, energy. so you can. Oh, I just uh, want to say that I'm. We got this, oh, sorry. our first oh. raid. Oh, hello. Woo. No, I just want to say that this has been. WS Live. Nice. Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the first time in a long while that I've been feeling really hopeful, and seeing everyone out on the streets and fighting for each other is like really incredible. And it's really good to see the the, the change that is already happening in just a week of everyone. Fighting for each other and seeing yeah, like the uh, slaver statues being pulled down, and people are actually talking about the violence police commit on black people, and yeah, it's been really incredible to see. And we support you all out there. Certainly. So, yeah. All right. With that said, let's start off with a bang. Mm. Uh, <laughs> hi. I don't know where I... your character is, and I don't know what she did. She's currently running through the forest for her life. And being chased by some very bad things. That sounds scary. But <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right too. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? Oh man. I am going to scurry as fast as my tiny little legs can scurry. Okay. And probably like keep checking over my shoulder trying to see what like do i hear what is following me chasing me oh yeah you can definitely hear it there's a lot of like guttural sounds um let me check your sheet here and see if you know what words may or may not be being said if i can find your character oh there it is <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, that's that thing. <laughs> well, apparently you speak one language, and that is not even true. No. No. Yeah, you need it to add. Put you, it, yeah, you need it to add common in. and gnomish to that list. But no, you do not understand uh, any of these guttural sounds. They sound completely alien and mm, what's the word I want to use? Brutal. 
I scurry a bit faster. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Moving faster. Nope, 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 nope. Go. Must go. Um, and if I can, like, looking around for maybe, like, a place to, like, hide, like, duck in somewhere that maybe I can lose whatever is following me. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, I don't believe you'll be able to see anything, Chai, but it's it's specifically that way. I do believe that our players, other than Chai, can see something, correct? Yep. I see us in a hallway. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's where you ended. Yeah. I'm sorry, I blacked out for a minute there. What happened? <laughs> How did we end up here? Oh, short, while you were downstairs having problems, we were sorting out some stuff up here. Oh, right. I... I forgot about my headache. Yeah. Funny yes, how you can forget about something dysentery. that happened a few minutes ago. <laughs> no, it, was a a <laughs> it was certainly a headache and not dysentery. That would be disgusting. So the last thing you remember <laughs> is Bryce coming down the stairs and patting you on the back. And he was like, good luck. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, basically. So that's how he left, huh? Yeah, he, then just he, he skipped he wasn't... away playing his viola. He, he wasn't happy about the lady and the way we handled her. L um, lady? I'd... And I think the whole violence of the situation. I don't think any of us got into the circus expecting this. Um, so I do want to say one. thank you for the subscription there, Samurai. Uh, that mm -hmm. is John, who is uh, the one that has donated the uh, Game Mastery Guide and the bestiary, bestiary Battle Cards, which, by the way, is the greatest thing that Paizo has ever released. Yes. I want to get them when I actually have money. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I think we should spend a little bit of time healing up. Um, so many um, I, battle cards. It's huge. <laughs> right, have I got my battle medicine checks from last time? Who have I used it on? I think I'd actually, yeah, I'd actually used it on Luca last time because he actually got hurt. I actually got, I got yeah. more this. Yes, you did. Um, but in terms of treating wounds and stuff, I can still do that. So, are we okay to just do some healing? Uh, I mean, I, I just woke up. Yeah, healing sure. would be nice. Yeah. All right. I, so it, it hurts. I don't remember. Did you battle medicine me in that fight? Um, no, I battled, last time I battled medicine for Royce and Luca, I might have healers gloved you, because I've used my healers okay. gloves. I've got a little bit of I, I put, I put the yellow, the yellow healing symbol on myself. I don't remember what it was for, though. <laughs> I don't know if it was to track that I had recently healed wounds. Possibly, in which case I can use that my lay on been... hands on you. Yeah. So I'll treat Luca and then lay on hands you. So Luca, you're going to get 2d8. I'll give you a 2. <laughs> it could oh. well be. Huh. Oh, it eleven! Is, it is two. And then, two one. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm gonna give twelve to Muck with my lay on hands. Actually, wait, no, wait. We're level five. Uh oh. Uh oh. My lay on hands goes up. Oh no! I completely forgot about that. You guys are OP so now. Fifteen. <laughs> I believe it might be fifteen. Oh, oh, sorry, eighteen. Um, let me double check. I'd completely forgotten about that. While she's checking, Chai, whose name is still Matthew for some reason, <laughs> that's fine. I can fix that. Yes, 18. Why, why did nobody tell me that this was still broke? Yeah, so, it, it wasn't set up at all. Yeah, somebody messed up really bad. I was late today, though, so. Oh, hey, Sorry, some... you oh thank you very much, Cody. All right. <laughs> I appreciate it. We're going we're gonna to get words. you a name. It's going to be amazing. People are watching me do this live. Name. Live. Th this is my naming ceremony, guys. <gasps> I'm Finally. Have Better protect I have a name. I completely forgot that you hadn't yeah. played yet. I will also <laughs> lay on hands myself. This is a thing that did not happen. It certainly did not. And that's, that's totally Matt's fault. Uh, 100%. <laughs> yeah, no, 100%. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised you're not blaming Marshy, but down for it. <laughs> ah. I don't cause any problems. <laughs> Never. Ever. Uh, man, I 
too bad that I was busy and forgot what I was doing. It happens. It does happen. Really great. So we're all healed up at least a bit. I mean, I, I'm pretty good on health. Yeah. I'm fine. I I'm good for what my current maximum is. <laughs> so, yeah, considering. Uh, I got lowered a bit. <laughs> Just touch. But I can still um, battle medicine most of the group. Just not Luca. Mm, okay. Look, Chai, you have a character card. I'm so good at this. Oh, Look so at that. This. Hey. Entertain us, Philip. No, I have. I'm. I'm not entertaining. I do. Uh, I do print things, though. I don't know if anyone out there is interested in dice towers. Ooh, but this is a little yeah. miniature one. Um, it's so cute. It, this. Uh, this tower works for ten millimeter dice. Um. That one is the Wizard's Tower. There's uh, a various other towers available. Um, warriors have a kind of a battle tower. I don't know if you can try to see that with my... Look at all the cool uh, goodies we have here. Roll to roll. Yeah. Dice that tower. 3D printed stuff. That is awesome. <laughs> that is um, kind of 3D printed. I'm really digging the uh, Barbarian Tower. So uh, oh, wood yes. and bones and skulls. You've I'm got like... all these little skulls down by the uh, entryway, well, exit way. So, <laughs> and then, <laughs> man, they, oh. dice towers, yeah. 3D printed. I should get me one uh, of them. I still need to make my Dave the Barbarian. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's clever. I miss him. Hey, Cody, I see that you're in Chad. Do you remember when you said that your game was hot garbage and train wreck and that mine would never be that bad? And now we're... <laughs> Showed you, mother... <laughs> All you had to do was let me join. <laughs> well, look, Manic Pixie Girl needs money. I think that's over. I think we got that sorted. We can get rid of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> On a lead the way, my friend. Okay, so, here yeah, we go. We're spending we are... at least 20 minutes here healing. So if you want to use Heal Animal on Vlad, you could get him up. Absolutely. Um, also, yeah, if we're spending 20 minutes, then I can do heal yeah. checks on anyone who hasn't been healed. Um, I've healed um, Luca with cheat wounds. Uh, All right. Anyone else wounds. that can have <laughs> cheat, cheat I mean, wounds, could... treat wounds? Yeah. I mean, you could do some on Feldo while he's here. I mean, I could take some, but, yeah. like, it's not necessary. All right. Well, Vlad's at full because the you know, animal is broken. <laughs> it's brilliant. Um, so what's his max? 51. No. All right. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Not plus 51. <laughs> at <Just> 51. <laughs> All right. And then I'll uh, I'll throw for, for the next 10 minutes. I will uh, do a little nature check. To arg, it's the wrong token. That's what the problem is. I'll just do it from here. I changed my character sheet because I'm adding a spell. Nineteen gets you two d eight. Oh, nice. It's probably more than enough. I mean, it already is. Uh, for five. Sorry, it's really not much. I mean, that's um, something. It's something, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna. If you want to. You get a chance, James. You can delete that token, and I'll use this token. What what token am I uh, am I deleting, sir? Oh, new tokens. Uh, the one better. with the pluses. Well, I made new tokens because I uh, I'm gonna be using a spell so that I can turn into bugs. Ooh, Ooh. Oh. Yeah. I think so, creepy. Yay! I think so. Now instead of just at level three, they have an insect form as opposed to just animal form at level two. So now I can turn into bugs. Nice. Um, We're just once once I actually talk about get whatever spells. they want for a while, guys. It's as long as you don't. Yeah, it's still entertaining. <laughs> just move this there. muck somewhere else. Where do I want to put him? I'll put him in the box down there. <laughs> all right. I'm sure everyone, all the all the viewers, can see where I, sh I shoved the old muck. <laughs> oh, is he back in the succubus box? 
Yeah, he's back in the succubus box. <laughs> God. <laughs> Not back in the succubus box. <laughs> oh. Apparently he likes it there. <laughs> no, he didn't like it there. She was a very not not nice person. She no. she reminded him a lot of uh Danica. of Lady Dusk 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 Lady. Oh, Mr. Dusk Light. Bad, Mr. Dusk bad Dusk Kitty. Light. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> bad Kitty. <laughs> always always lying. Oh, I know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Do you though? Do you? <laughs> I know the name of who he's talking about. That's I, I've heard that. And that is once. good enough. <laughs> Let me tell you something about that Mistress Dusk like. Absolutely terrible handwriting. Just cat scratch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was hoping for absolutely terrible person. Could run a show, though. <laughs> <laughs> but man, her circus. But I mean, it else. was. The show worked. That's all I'm going to say. Bad person. <laughs> Oh, we love that. Uh, so yeah, where are we going? I have no idea. Yeah, well, well, was... the, a bunch of things came running out of the hallway that you're currently standing in front of. So if you want to just keep walking straight, and then we'll follow you. We are the As... human meat shields for Luca. Yes, oh, stra straight. And Sasha is the horse meat shield. Lyra, straight... I'm so glad that you understand. <laughs> straight towards those we... rocks, or the, the, on the other side of you, Luca. Uh, the rocks over here. I, I believe oh, okay. the rocks are where we were headed. Yeah. Okay. Very well. Uh, so looks GM looks like Ryo. some more some more beds over there. More uh, more. Uh, While they're moving the through the hallways, hey Andrael, go ahead and roll me a reflex save. You were oh man! Oh god! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, it's not bad. Not great either. It's so. lucky number thirteen. <laughs> so, so as you're as you're running, occasionally looking back through the woods, it's pretty dark. You can just hear all that noise behind you. You're being chased down, probably dozens, if not multiple dozens, of of footsteps behind you. You hear like a, a whistling sound, and like a, a hand axe comes very close to your head, and it it almost burrs the side of your head. It's like you feel it rustle your hair. Uh, like instinctively, like checks her hair, <laughs> and like just she can't go any faster. But she's trying, like just blind panic, like zigzag trying to run. Something like just try to get some sort of something behind her and whatever is scary running throwing things at her like get in front of trees like something to block whatever trying to find some place to hide okay. oh, we haven't split the party Martin. <laughs> a side note your first role in our game was sub 10 welcome to the group ah yes <laughs> to the party <laughs> yeah tens are crits in this game because nobody Basically. can roll an 11 or higher Maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't. I don't think I've seen a nat twenty in this game. Uh, no wait. I think Feldir rolled one. Well, like there's a few. There's been a ago. few. I got one like James five weeks ago. <laughs> I got... We just also have a lot of sub ten rolls. Oh wait. No, I only had that one. Uh... <laughs> so yeah. Um, All right. Roll the roll stats. Party. There you are. You're in a nice neat line. I'm just gonna bring in my lightning bolt. I guess. Okay. What is oh, your uh... fire? What are all the stars? What are what are those symbolizing for you, Muck? Uh, that is my. Uh, I, I'm guessing treat wounds. The last time I had treat okay. wounds done. Okay. Oh, what's that? So whenever that hour's up, I'll remove that. Guys, if you remember, viewers, if you were expecting a lot of excitement here, <laughs> you came to the wrong game because <laughs> these poor poor beverage. players have been in book one of an AP. For over 50 hours. For long enough for one player to be like, game. I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's been we a got few a job. Minutes. We just all don't have jobs. <laughs> wow, twenty dollars more to code twenty forty. Woo! Thank man. you very much. Nice. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Alright, <laughs> so are we carrying on down this hallway? I suppose yeah. so. I uh, Chai, are you capped on hero points now? Um what is the cap? And well, you I start with one at the beginning of every game, and you can never have more than three. I have and, three, yes. Okay. Then, so I am capped. So viewers, if you're going to do hero points, don't give them to Chai, or they go... Poof. 
They're just gone. Into the are these uh are these columns here? These these black yes. squares I'm seeing. They are definitely mm. columns. They they're about fifteen feet high. Uh, there is a lit fire here. You can see uh, all the little uh hay things there. Um, I think I already gave you the loot from that room, just so we would have that done when we started, because <laughs> otherwise we'd probably need three more episodes. <laughs> All right. Lyra's charged into this room on Sasha. You can see as Lyra running yep. ahead. Luca, remember what happened last... Lyra, remember what happened last time you ran ahead like this? Now, do remember... Oh, uh, yeah, but, like, Sasha was fine. Now, let me, let me refresh your memories. You do remember that there was a closet that went invisible and disappeared oh, yeah. on you guys. You also I... remember that someone was ordered to run around. Hmm. Yeah, there was never another... appeared. So... Oh god! So he's still be... running around. Um, it may not be safe, is what I'm saying. The new Mux vision is not turned on. Ooh. Right. Um, what well, do we want to like try and lie in wait for them? Oh, oh better than getting surprised. I mean, I'm quite surprised by this entire room, honestly. Uh... <laughs> Luca, oh, can... Feldir, Muck, and Vlad. I'm going to interrupt you for a second, but not Lyra. Lyra, you don't hear anything. Not cool. not anything. Like, you're like, am I deaf? Um, no, she's like stroking the horse. <laughs> uh, you do hear what appears to be some sounds from the north. It kind of echoes. Uh, it sounds kind of like claws on stone. Oh, that does doesn't not sound right at all. There's, there's something over here. It might be more of those things that we fought the other time. We may not want to go deal with them just yet. Uh, I mean, oh, better see than here. having them come up behind us. All we see here is this weird structure. Is that stairs? That is stairs. Okay. Whatever this thing is, stairs, <laughs> fell deer? Pinwheel. Oh, is that what they're called? Yes, it is. <laughs> up this way? Uh, yes. Yep. Where's it? Yeah. Oh, I can't see anything. Wow. My lighting is not working, like, for a lot of this. Well, I'm the lighting right now, right? Uh, that's why. For, <laughs> for those of you without dark vision, yeah. because it's it's like wonky have, and it's like we confusing. Have one me. light. Here's what we'll do. I'll transfer one of the lights to Feldir. So Feldir, my light spell will be on you, and I'll still be using the other one. Oh, well, Feldir, I believe look your out, light there is spell a... is currently on Lyra, on her yes, shield. Well, there's yes, a, there's a creature it down that to, um... down that hallway. I very clearly see that, Feldir. and so that's very scary. To Feldir, I get to play with tokens. My players love to make me change things all the time. They're such good, good players. I'm sorry, James. It's amazing. <laughs> just I mean, you could just you could just get rid of the dynamic lighting. Let us see everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. know what I did, <laughs> that would work. But I broke the game. There we go. Cool. Oh. Oh, now we can roll initiative. Look at that. Yeah. Oh. All right. Make sure I don't roll it for Sasha. I've done that before. Okay. Oh, nice. It's like the first good initiative I've had. No bonus. How'd I do? Yes. I don't know. We'll find oh, out in a minute. He ran away. Is there an Whoa, initiative I have to tracker play up? With multiple layers here. I was. Uh... Oh no! Wait, where did he oh, go? He vanished. He vanished. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, Zul gasped. It's the best Zul gasp ever known. Is he supposed to have vanished? No. <laughs> I had to I had to move him to a different layer in order to uh, roll everything's initiative all at once. Oh, you you didn't want to know that? Um, nope. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Did I did I scare you? So these rocks in our way, what like are they just typical terrain or something like that? They're nothing for us medium creatures. They're nothing. Okay. They're nothing. Um, I almost forgot. If I recall, play. I haven't run a game in so long. Holy. Mackerel. Ooh, oh, I'm seeing that. I don't like They're whatever's on the, on the initiative way. there. No. I don't like Zolgath that one. Zolgath Bile Bear. I bet he spits. They have names? <laughs> Gross. Yeah, it has uh, names. I say we try to defend this position. Uh, I'm going to get into my stance, uh, step up to the front of the line, and... That'll pretty much be it. I'll do a nice little jump in the air. That's about it. Uh, no, I'll cast shield. That's what I'll do. We love a good shield. We love we a do. good shield. 
It doesn't upgrade yet. It hasn't heightened yet, has it? What? Spellcasters? You would know. Spellcasters <laughs> do heighten. Well, I know, but shield? I don't. I don't, I, I, don't I don't know if my shield. I don't have the shield heightened. spell. Uh, whatever. I'll look into it. But right, so that's what my did turn. you do again, Feldier? You cast shield, and you did what? I got into my stance, moved up to the line. Uh, and cast rocks, shield. Got it. Three actions. Shield. Way um, to go. It oh. has heightened because your cantrips will be third level now. It just means it has a more hardness. It's hardness ten now. Oh, nice. We love to hear it. Uh, let me fix that then. But yeah. All right. Oh, this that's real guy. good. This guy. This is a new guy. Never seen these guys. Yay. He's going to kill us. Yeah, we love we it. We still haven't seen this guy. <laughs> new guy. New girl. See the edge of that Next. guy. Oh. Interesting. Why is Lyra all the way over there? Oh, because it's not Lyra's turn. It's something <laughs> no, on a different layer. Something's before me, clearly. <laughs> all right. All right, Lyra, what's up? What do you do? Uh, Lyra is still worried something's going to come up behind us. So she's going to, before she's going to dismount off Sasha, and Sasha's going to just stay where she is to try and provide a block. Um, and then she is going to move up to here and also cast shield. She's using her scarf right now. Interesting. Yeah. Sounds like a turn for Mud. Oh, oh, you came all the way to the front front. Okay. Was I not supposed to? <laughs> no, it's fine. It's almost like I was going to tank with. Yeah, no, no, go do what you want. <laughs> do what you want. Do what you want. What you want. <laughs> Muck. Do what you want. What you really want. Muck will, Muck will cast Magic Fang from his staff Ooh. onto Vlad and give him a bonus to his bite attack nice. of plus one. I was just checking how long that lasts. I think it is a minute. One minute. All right. So ten rounds. Um... And then Muck will one action left. Um, I will uh, I'll pass my turn. I'm done. All right. I, I don't have anything I can do with one action. You can move. <laughs> I could move, but I don't. We were we were holding this line. Cool. All right. Lyra's Immediately jump. upon Lyra turn. broke through it. Yep. <laughs> she can back off. We get oh. really weird music. Whoa. Oh, weird. Ooh. I don't okay. know where that music came from. It's called Hardcore Combat. So, please don't demonetize me. I have no idea where this music came from. <laughs> Actually, right. demonetize. Uh, suddenly fine. invigorated by. The fourth dimensional music being played through. <laughs> Fuck, where's this coming from? <laughs> it was just like, um, is anyone that, you know what, I'm probably just going mad. It's been some time since I've seen the sunlight. Uh, Luca will stride up to there and then he'll just do a couple knowledge checks on those <laughs> lovely Zool Gasps because, you know, just wanna just get to know them better. Not use my act. <laughs> so I might as well see if I can get some knowledge on them. Oh, so are we are recalling knowledge, everyone. Yeah, what? I really want to know things. For that I don't really have um, well, let's see. What are you wanting to get knowledge on? The guy in front of you? Yep, the one I can see. Oh, my goodness. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Uh, you have fought... You have fought Zolgath like this before. Um, mm -hmm. So you kind of know they have, they have the stench, obviously, within 30 feet. Um, and these are the ones that carry clubs, use their jaws and claws, and don't really, like, have any kind of, they're just basic fighter types. Okay, so we need a fairy type or a psychic type against it. <laughs> You're very oh. low as well, Luca, just so you know. Uh, that being uh, said, with that, Luca will kind of be like, um, perhaps moving the line up slightly might be beneficial to us, but, uh, you do you. I'll be All right, time for Lyra to get absolutely murdered. <laughs> well, I gotta get to you first, girl. It's Fire yeah. Emblem rules. You try to get them to the line before you get to the line so that you, you can attack them first. 
And when we come onto a map, we all just exit. We all come in on, as one person and spread out through the like, Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm glad not the only one who uses Fire Emblem rules while playing RPGs. I mean, <laughs> more Fire Radiant Emblem. Dawn is still the best, just just to be clear. I haven't played it. The only one I've really played it's, is Three Houses. Oh. I have to play that one still. Oh, it's so good. Oh. It's it's better than some of the recent fare, but not as good as Radiant Dawn. <laughs> but I do appreciate it's a lot easier to find than Radiant Dawn, because Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn are so tricky to get out of. Were they like GameCube and Wii? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, and there was only so many copies, like, in English. Like, mm. good luck finding it for, like, we've got a French version, so. Uh, <laughs> ah, so you're good. Yeah. This thing, uh, this thing kind of runs up things? to you, towards you, uh, Lyra. It's running on all fours. Uh, oh, God. And you see that it's oh, it's, it's got a daggers in both hands. Okay. It kind of runs up, and then it stands up on its hind legs, and it whips one of these daggers at you. Uh, that's going to yep. be an armor class 26. 26 will hit. All right. What's this? This thing got covered in pustules or something? Hey, man. It's real you nasty. Take I'm not a fan of it. Seven them. piercing damage. Ooh. All right. And I need a fortitude save. Great. That's my, my great stuff right now because I'm drained. Ugh. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> so I, yeah. I did not. So whatever this is, minus like three. Oof. 15. Mm. 15. That's yep. a fail. Ugh. Yep. Boy, you are also fatigued one. Oof, great, cool. I'm, I'm just piling up the conditions. <laughs> so. And that is so. him. So fatigued. Come at me. I this one, you see a saving throws, yay. This one moves directly up to you. Yep. And it's got a club. Uh, 28. Uh, 28 will hit. Take seven bludgeoning damage as it slams this club directly into your face. Alright. Yeah, your face with an S. Damn. F-A-S-E. Face. And I believe we all have uh, saves to make now. He's within 30 feet of us. Mm. Ah, yeah. Do we need to make more fortitude saves? Yeah, Extent. absolutely. Let's go ahead and do that. So, time for another... Uh... Fortitude save minus to 21. Actually, no, um, unless two seconds. Does fatigue stack with the drain, or is it the same type? Uh, fatigued is, uh... Status, I and drained strength. is... No. Status. So it's just minus three, yeah. Not minus four to the four to save. 21? Yep. Who am I missing there? Failed you. Fatigued only affects 30? your AC and saving through. Well, saving yeah, through. You got everybody. Yes, this right. will be a saving uh, Yeah, Vlad. Oh, Vlad. I guess Sasha. Yeah. You guys. Sa well, unless Sasha just punks the roll here. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> They're rolling so well. This is not like my group at all. No. <laughs> uh, nobody Unusual. is sick. You must be used to the stench of these vibes. Yeah, we're, 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 we're pretty much getting used to this. And we've got like Felder next to us. So uh, it's like, after, uh, <laughs> just after last time. Like, I think we might be adjusted to stay. No, it's cool. Keep going with this sentence, Alice. I love it. What, what about Feldir? Huh? You've got a little dysentery on your shoe. Yeah, <laughs> ew, ew, gross. gross. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, uh. Oh, I'm sorry, Mashi. <laughs> Miss Giandriel. Yes. I'm assuming during this run for your life, you're muttering a prayer to every god of the elven pantheon for assistance. Definitely, definitely so. So, you're about to roll initiative. Oh, yay. That's a thing. Oh, boy. Uh, those of you, uh, see these other, this other, uh, Zolgath move first. Uh, 520. Yep, he's there. The, the, five, the four of you, plus the animal companions, you see what appears to be a, a glowing, I mean, you would definitely call it a door. It kind of like glows blue, and it kind of like opens, kind of like the, the Mines of Moria. And the goddess Alceta has apparently answered your prayers, but as Jaren would say, the gods are fickle <laughs> and probably put you in a worse spot than you were. <laughs> Oh. That's fair. 
They've summoned a gnome! <laughs> <laughs> now, do you know how to roll initiative in this game? I This is not. this is Chai's first time playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition, guys, so we're going to take our time with her. Uh, we're going to, oh, still sitting at 280 for code 2040. 20 more until our first goal for the night. Woo! Ooh. Wow, yeah, so... Guys. Scheherazade. Wow, $20 for a Roll20 core rule book, which is really good. Puts all the rules in Roll20 while she looks at her character sheet to try and roll initiative for us. If you look at the uh, right side of your character sheet. Where it says under... perception? If you, uh, okay, yeah, if there's you see Make sure you make sure click, you on, your click on your token first. Yep. So that your token is selected before you click on initiative. Yes. Thank you. All the little options in the core rule book are available. There you go. See the human here. Oh, hey. man, you good you perception. Out. Whole thing is there in roll 20 for you. Really good thing. Yeah, it's only one she get added to the initiative. Ooh, a 31. Wow, well, you get to get added, but immediately, <laughs> you get to immediately you act. As you bust through the door and it closes behind you, and in front of you, you see this... <laughs> This lizard-like creature, and it has these uh, pulsating pustules of uh, like bile all over its body, and they're popping, disappearing, and reforming all over it. Uh, right behind you, and also in front of you, you do see other lizard-like creatures. These seem to be a little cleaner, but no less frightening. And then, of course, and they all see, stink. Then, of course, you <laughs> see the you see those other guys. Remember they are. <laughs> I see a ragtag group of circus people. I see a ragtag rag group of circus people. And they are dressed like circus people. Yeah. Pustule covered yes. lizard person. Which and is we are also covering like and acid gross. and blood and stuff. <laughs> yeah. I think uh, Giandra will like look around seeing this and think like these people might need a little bit of help. <laughs> you also you also realize one more thing okay ahead of you is the oldest most cheating half elf you've ever seen in your life hello nice to meet you like he is so decrepit he al you almost mistook him for a skeleton or a ghoul he's that close he is he's old for a half elf he's very old old AI. Oh, ancient I mean, he's. If some would say, some would say ancient. <laughs> the would rules say. would say ancient. <laughs> <laughs> All the elves. Okay. Um. I think Giandrielle's just going to take out her short bow and fire at the lizard person that is between her and the circus people. Okay. There are more behind you. Do not stay there. <laughs> Let's come over here quickly. <laughs> not worry. The dog does not bite. Uh, I'm sorry. Am I hallucinating, or did a gnome just teleport in here out of nowhere? No, a you gnome are is magic. So. Because <laughs> what you see before you is a very small, pink-haired halfling. Halfling. Oh, halfling. Okay. Halfling. I thought you were a gnome. Because of World of War. Yeah. No, I am not a gnome. I'm not a easily gnome. confused. <laughs> easily confused. They're very similar. But Especially it's when they dye their hair pink. Yeah. yeah. When your hair pink, we're assuming you're a gnome. We're all just yeah, like, no. a gnome! <laughs> no, no. Just very, very flamboyant looking halfling. Nice. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm going to, like, try and shoot at this one in front of me. All right. Just click the little attack icon there and let's see what. Ooh, a 28 against the pustule guy in front of you. A pustule, yeah. I hope that hits. <laughs> the gross one first. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and roll damage for me? Nice. Oh, we just hit our first donation goal for the uh, code 2040. Yay! Woo! Nice. And, and, uh, Thank stoner. you. That's very interesting that we just hit our first goal because you also just critically hit that bad guy for 17 damage. Oh, nice. Nice. I'm so good. Ja <laughs> Jackson lives on. <laughs> and it does not look healthy now. Oh, Ooh. cool. So these ones are quite squishy then. I was scared they were going to be like really nasty. But... Yeah, they didn't look... I thought they were going to be like super huge and stuff. Yeah, like literally. Just... <laughs> I was ready for that. I was we ready can do for... this. <laughs> 
All right, that was one action, because I'm going to assume you had your bow out with whatever yeah, you were doing to piss I, I off the things was that were following you. I definitely running with weapons, and yeah, I'm going to try that again with the... I know there's a penalty for that. Yes. It is minus five for your second attack trait thing. Okay. So, 19. Oh, wow. 19 to hit? I assume deals with 20 it was a crit. That's a hit. Roll damage. Yeah. Nice. Seven Ooh. more. Still have an Go. action left. You get three in this game. Yeah. I think uh, I'm going to throw a shield <laughs> up on myself. You're going to do what now? Throw shield? Uh, shield. Throw yeah. up on herself? No. Yeah, I'm going to throw up. I might after all this like fury ex like exertion of running terrified and then suddenly yeah. I'm he just like there's a door and stink really I'm in a building too. with blizzard people like thank you but oh god and <laughs> in fact yes do you need to do a fortitude save they're also stinky lizard people because you're in with the stinky very stinky okay. stinky oh, stink wow look at that my players are getting you <laughs> that's not good no so we're uh, gonna have some throwing up <laughs> but but you have hero points <laughs> yes, which allow you to re-roll re if you wish to use them. I would recommend I, it. I... <sighs> okay. Uh, I guess. I suppose. Are you sure? There we go. That's much oh, better. <laughs> okay. You still do have an action left. Oh, shield. No, I did it's shield for my third action. So in the upper left-hand corner of your screen, you should see a little button that says maybe like turn over or go Click next. Click on your token. Or... Oh, I see it. Yep. Yeah. Boom, look at that. Bell deer. Good job. Oh, this is a strange encounter. But nevertheless, uh step up to here with my tiger step. Haha. -ha. Or clown step, whichever one you want to go with. Uh <laughs> well, and definitely you, clown step. Exactly. You already know what's happening. Uh boop 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 boop. Ooh, uh 15. do either of those hit? Fifteen will not. First Twenty three though. That What's is uh, 10 damage. And make a save, fortitude save. Yeah, it's going to be a fortitude save. <laughs> DC 21. Oh, it failed. Oh, so it's stunned, stunned one. one. Unless it crit failed. That'd be really nice. It I know. did not crit fail, unfortunately. Okay. Dang. Uh, and then for my last thing, I'm going to take an attack. Uh, miss. Tragically. You um, definitely missed. Yeah. You missed so hard. Okay. All right. No need to hammer it <laughs> Oh. Oh. This guy. Oh. Well, as one move, this guy approaches the halfling. Oh, this is not good for you. Look out! No, no <clears throat> it's not. Instead of using a dagger, Go. this one reaches out with a claw. And this claw is covered in these pustules. Oh, oozing nasty bile. Please. Grody. Here we go. Here we go. 26 armor class. Oh. That'll hit. Mm -hmm. Oh. Take six slashing damage. And as its final action, you're grabbed and immobilized. Oh, sorry. I'm not close enough to help. Uh-oh, what's going on? Uh-oh. Zoink, Scoob. You gotta get out of here. Alright. You guys finally get to see what happens. <laughs> we got the, uh, the reach spells being checked. Go! Oh, oh no. It's the you have been guy. placed in flank! What? Can you even be flanked? What? I, I, I get. Wait, what? Huh? Well, Okay. It was invisible. Oh, grr. It can was... I just like, can we just retcon and I see invisibility? No, oh, sure. Do it. Uh, <laughs> uh, does a 17 flat footed hit you? I'm pretty sure it doesn't. No, it doesn't. All right. We're gonna that miss is hard, James. That miss, oh, <laughs> such a miss. How about a 16 <laughs> flat footed then? Oh, that hits. Damn okay. it. <laughs> I figure that's how You died. Be. Yeah, no, exactly. There right is your time oh. to go. Shine bright underneath the midnight moon. That, that's literally... <laughs> Alright, she's going to run to here. Um, she is going to attack 
um, the one between me and Feldir to try and um, get it. It is flat-footed because I am flanking it with a reach weapon. Ooh, Ooh nice. But I got a crit <laughs> It doesn't fit. matter. So it doesn't oh. matter. <laughs> no, that's, that's a great start, lads. Okay. Welcome to Sunday, guys. Welcome yep. to Sunday. Sunday. We never uh, roll above a 10. <laughs> no. Um, and I don't want to waste my hero point just yet. Um, so instead, I'm just going to battle medicine myself. Um, what? From one damage? <laughs> uh, what? You, you are taking a page out of Luca's book. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh, ow. I'm patch myself up real fast. I took more than one damage! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I heal up nine, and I'm still not at full, just to be clear. Um, and that's my turn. All right. Muck, you're up. Muck, get it! And he points to the one down the hallway uh, at Lyra, near Lyra. And Muck <laughs> not the dice, Lyra. bounds over and gnaws at it. Um, a little reluctantly, I'm sure, um, yeah. because of the pustules on it, yeah. but he does it anyway. Oh, wait a minute. He actually has a bonus to his attack. A bonus? Ooh. Oh, nice. my goodness. That'll hit. Oh, my goodness. 11 damage. Oh, this That's nice. what I wanted to see. Splat! Yep. And then Makes Muck. That sound. Muck will. Do these uh, rocks in the hallway provide any cover? Uh, if you you could take cover behind them, the action, the basic action, take cover, and that would give you cover. Okay. But, but otherwise, just standing own. there. Yeah. Okay. Muck steps to there. And will attack with his staff in a two-handed motion to hit at the little, I assume, no, flying creature. Don't flank me! No, we don't want to do this. <laughs> oh, that might be bad for it. Oh, oh, bad no. For it. <laughs> oh no! That certainly is over ten. <laughs> I'm not even going to tell you if it was a crit or not. I'm just going to yeah. exit out. <laughs> <laughs> not even going to tell you. You don't need to know. Level five's big and boost, huh, guys? Yeah. Hey, well, let's see. That is, that was send, move, attack. I'm done. Oh, watch this, guys. Watch this. I'm gonna take his turn for him. I use one action to reach spell, and then I hit these two <laughs> with arc lightning. We don't even need wheelchairs. Just, <laughs> because they're just in range. You need to make. Damn. You need to make. Uh, you need to make some reflex saves there. It has DC 21 now. Oh my gosh, 21. Well, that's a 23. Uh, and this one is a... Oh, I rolled the wrong thing. That one's a 15. Let me see what this actually rolled. It rolled a 15 plus... It rolled a 15. Oh, it's actually higher. Okay. Uh, okay, so they both this one... Only 16 this one here takes... How much damage are we doing? Eight? Four damage Eight. each. Yeah. Well, this one, this one failed. Did it oh, heighten cool, that's or? Yeah, it uh, heightened. It's. I, that's... I... <laughs> he just rolled like crap. <laughs> well, I just it's only two d four. It should be. Th yeah, I don't, I don't know how it works. You get one more. Is that D4? what the heightened so three is? Okay. No. Nope. will break again. Oh lord. Oh, so was it not heightened? <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Current level d four. It. Uh, yeah. Just roll it a should D4 be three d four. Yeah. Here, I'll try doing. I'll try putting as. Another... Just put another d4 on it then. Yeah, I'll we'll just add another d4 to it. Nine. There you go. One more. <laughs> My yes! Team's another first. one! Ah, oh, we love to see it. There we go. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Now it's time for the, us to get slammed. Good luck. Sweet. Half oh, we took out two of them, so. <laughs> Less things to attack. At current. Whoa. Range. Look, we've got yeah, this. Great. There's no way we can like no. be leaving this encounter in pain. There's no way. Not possible. No, <laughs> this one bypasses oh, the cool. gnome, who it That's or the chill. halfling, whom it thinks is handled. <laughs> and Come then on, it is right. going to use something called. Low race no, it is not. It is going to attack because it doesn't have enough action okay. for that. That is so sad. <laughs> it will dagger you then. Alira, it will dagger you. It's going to do something really mean. 31 armor class. 
Curse oh. off, be fatigued. That's a crit. Oh. Twelve piercing damage, and but I need a fortitude save. Oh yay! A minus three. <laughs> Oh, Why are you in the front lines? Because <laughs> that's where she goes. Uh, that's, uh, where that's, a that's a sixteen. She's always in the front line until she falls down. Exactly. <laughs> I'm a meat shield. That's good. Why do you think I don't buff her anymore? The good news is. <laughs> the good news is nothing worse happens. It just stays longer. Yeah, I'm just fatigued one still. <laughs> Ugh. Alright, this guy. This guy's still, still alive. Like this guy's gonna step away from Feldir. Okay. And it's gonna attack Lyra because, well, cool. it and feels that's like a, action. a better plan. It is going to use its massive jaws to try and bite you. How about a 19? Uh, 19 because I'm flat footed and fatigued, tits. Take five piercing. Mm-hmm. And are you ready for the real pain? Uh, do I have to make another fortitude save? No. Oh. But it does swipe at you with a claw. It can't, it can't take another knife. But, but it doesn't have walk. the actions. It stunned. doesn't because it's stunned. You're right. Ha! <laughs> 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 you thought. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this one's going to move around. No. Put the gaffling in a in flank. <laughs> the, the whatever it is. <laughs> That thing. The, the very confused thing. <laughs> yeah, the very, the very pink. I don't even know what I am. <laughs> All right. Thirteen armor class with its jaws. Ooh. Now you are flat-footed, which means you have to subtract two from your armor class. Okay. Still not gonna make. It. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, hold on. Remember, you're flat-footed, so subtract two from your armor it class. It is minus uh-huh. two. Uh huh. It still puts me at twenty. Okay. Are you are you are you doing the minus two? You're doing the minus two, right? <laughs> okay. We're, well, we're this working is, through this with John. I'm telling you. <laughs> hold on. Is. Here comes the claw. Here comes the claw. It's very agile. With great agility, it reaches out with its claw and it hits. Armor class ten. That got you right. It's a crit. Ah, uh, that's it. <laughs> it's a crit fail. It, it's like a crit on my hair, maybe. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well, well, it's your turn, someone who has background chat beep on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Giandriel realizes she's not actually a halfling. She is, in fact, a gnome. She's <laughs> just losing her mind a little bit in the I panic. knew you were a freaking <laughs> gnome Yeah, no, i have just... Teleportation affects everyone differently. But, exactly. <laughs> but, Jai, exactly. before your gnome goes, <laughs> I... Need a fortitude save. I'm gonna let Bevan do some talking because he has something very important he would like to say. Mm-hmm. Bevan, floor, you have Bevan. interrupted this combat. What important information do you have to drop on our fellow viewers? Oh, geez, like five minutes ago, I did the drawing for our $300 um, tier, oh, and the winner God. is, ironically, John, who donated the physical books, is getting a uh, compendium PDF for. Roll 20 for the core rule book for Pathfinder 2E, who, if he already has it, he will be able to give it away to a friend or, you know, anybody else who, you know, jumps in the Discord. You never know what he's going to do to get rid of it. But he uh, also donated to Color of Change, and I was like, hey, you want me to put those 20 entries in? He's like, no, I'm not mailing a book to myself. So we uh, do have, um, <laughs> so far, 30 entries for the physical book um, split between... Phil and Chai here. If Chai wins two physical books, something's wrong. So I think more people need to more people need to start donating to take those chances away from Chai and give them to yourself. Um, But our next one for our uh, uh, Co twenty forty is the combined part one and two of this adventure path in a whole compendium. So that if you want to go out and get farther than these losers in probably 45 minutes all you got to do is uh donate to code 2040 um one five every five dollars equals one entry and once we hit uh yeah, i'm sure you'll see the next four hundred dollar goal so in 95 dollars i'll draw for that guy so oh my goodness good luck you guys don't die i've been listening and it sounds like you're all dumb how do you guys survive on this saturday like i mean the sunday night game like geez 
Yeah, how do you guys uh, how do you guys survive? He wants to know since you can't hear him. No idea. We'll they don't know. They don't know. Well, great. All right, Bevan. We'll so, talk to you again in a minute. Yep, I'm keep. I just cut him off. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to, Bevan. I'm so sorry. Uh, I just naturally thought that you would go. But hey, look, next tier is uh, Extinction Curse 1 and 2. And if you've noticed, you will get hundreds of hours of entertainment. Well, I mean, obviously. <laughs> yeah. You play it anything like we do. All right. <laughs> Gee, Andriel, you are surrounded by stinky lizard things. I am. Get out of there. I and also the monsters not. in the game. <laughs> I would like to not be Why don't you just call the other players lizard things? stinky lizard things? If you are a friend, it. if you want with these old guys, come to us. We'll help. Yes, come stand with me. It's usually very safe back here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not with them. Don't know where I am. <laughs> well, we'll tell you in a moment, but just know you've officially joined a circus. <laughs> I you are contractually a part of a obligated. Before, so <laughs> I can work with this. Right. <laughs> you are this is an idiot. awful oh, long here. conversation for six seconds, guys. <laughs> <laughs> are you okay over there? Do we, we, um, we're heating up some tea. This, this is all gas. <laughs> so like they sit down on stools and begin sipping their own tea with pinkies up while you talk. Oh. And then we're like, okay, break off. Okay, let's back to fighting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I am gonna. At the one by this one in front of Lyra. I'd recommend moving first. She can't because she's grappled. Yep. Yeah, I am immobilized. Oh, uh, I completely forgot. Yeah. I can't go anywhere. I completely forgot. I'm Other so than like, ah, this really sucks. <laughs> can I still you shoot? You could attempt from? to escape from the grapple. Ooh, you can try and shoot, but that is a manipulate action and oh. would cause you to have to roll a d20 to see if you can get that action off. Sure. It's what, All a flat right. check five? Yep. Yeah. You need to roll a d20. You need a five or higher. Hey, there okay, we go. you can That's shoot. Fine. Okay, we're going to try this. Nice. Against? Uh, the one the... in front of Lyra. Uh, that's the wrong attack. That's a light mace. Oh, I, don't know if you I did hit the, the wrong one. I Sorry. I had it's roll it's a die roll of 13, though. You probably still hit. I can't yeah, it's actually... A... 24 then it's one higher wow look at that oh, yeah. my should, other weapon should have used now the damn light crit. race could have shoved it away <laughs> and you're hitting which one now draw a line to it uh this I one think it was this one all right and how much damage will that be seven damage wow that's a lot it's mm. pretty good that's one oh. action Can I use the rest of my actions to attempt to get out of this? You sure can. Just, just so, gave us one action, yes. Okay. You, you can do it in two different ways. Okay. You can use athletics or acrobatics. No matter which one you use, the first time you're minus five because you made an because attack. Because you did an attack action. Okay. Yep. So whatever you roll, we're minus gonna... five unless you put it in. Okay. No. So, 18. 18. And I do believe that's against Fortitude, am I right? Uh, it's against... Uh, sure. <laughs> was it... Uh, what helps us win? It's not against <laughs> like, it's the effects DC. Or... The DC of the effect. So yeah. it's, the, it's, char the, it's the character DC, the monster DC. Which would either be Fort or Reflex. This is typically the athletics DC of a creature grabbing you. The oh. thievery DC of a creature who tied you up. So, so the, the athletics, athletics DC, DC of the creature. Well, you managed, even with a minus five, to get away. I Slippery little dome. Slippery Run. little dome. So that was one action. So you still have one action left. I'd recommend getting out of flank. Yes. <laughs> okay. Right. The wolf is quite nice, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can't, and I move towards the wolf. You can move uh, towards the wolf, yes. Uh, you either have to go around that Zolgath, which uh, is going to slow your movement. Well, either way, it's going to be the same amount of movement. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I've got that much. So. How much do you have? 25? 25. Or? Yep. 25, so I can go, like, there. That's 20. 
Okay. You good? Um, I'll go one more there. All right. Cool. Yeah, That'll be me. I get you a corner for some that cover. Was fabulous. Yeah, that could be good. We're learning, right. guys. We're learning. So, <laughs> turn over. Yes. There we nice go. One. All right. Uh, I guess I'll get it, fell near. Get over to here, uh, just so I'm a little bit closer to doing some stuff. Uh, do I want to do? Mm, it would be fun, but flurry blows just makes more sense. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. I don't know what I'm rolling because it's not auto scrolling down. Twenty-three to hit. Twenty-three to the... hit. Let me see if that kills it here. Six, Six damage. damage. Because I really don't. Oh, thank nice. God. I really don't want to deal with stun again. <laughs> no, not deal with stun. Open a character sheet and roll it. <laughs> I'm lazy. Uh, uh, and then I'm going to, um, since that was two actions, I'm going to step here. Sweet. Don't worry, we've got you. Stay out of harm's way and all that. Interesting. Interesting. Very interesting. Hmm. Yes. Does this thing have wow. acrobatics? Wow. Like, it does. It does. Oh my goodness. You ever get I, don't, I don't like anything that does. Does it have things. an area effect attack? It does. Oh. oh. You are safe. <laughs> <laughs> well. Now that you've all made a fireball formation. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they can guess fireball? No one told me. <laughs> well. Maybe. Uh, just... So it it tries to tumble past you. Uh, okay. Uh, fell deer, but it rolled a natural one, so uh, <laughs> it it trigger it stops moving there and triggers any attacks of opportunity you might have. A standstill, sure thing. Yeah. Because I do have that. Nice one. Uh, so we're gonna just do a good old punch and probably miss, unless I'm lucky. Does it want to roll? There we go. Hey, look What's at that. Lucky? Twenty-eight. I think that's great. He is. Critical hit. Nice. So 18 damage. Oh and my then, uh, god. Oh, and then I it takes 1d4 persistent bleed. <laughs> nice wow. One. So it gets to end its turn taking damage too. All right. Well, <laughs> it's a great. Actions, it was great. Mm -hmm. As two actions, it uses something called putrid blast. Oh. Sounds like a cone. That sounds gross. All adjacent creatures. So it hits the gnomi. And the cheater. Ah. <laughs> Need a what, and not its save friends? From both of you. Uh, no, they're immune because... Well, the Typical. one behind it's not immune. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Bring Marcy. Yeah. Nice. What we get on the fortitude? Bring a Marcy. Yeah, I don't need that. Get that so stuff out. Get to me. Okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you keep your stink to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm stinky enough for the both of us. Thank you very much. So what it does is, is it kind of flexes, right? And when it does so, it kind of like pulls at all these putrid, pus-filled postules on its body and like bile and putrid stink. But everybody made their save, so it's not even a big deal. Just wasted a whole turn on that shit. I know they're flexing on us. And then yep. it takes three bleed damage. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it needs to make it save yep, to yep, see yep. if it succeeds uh, against it. And it does not succeed. Yay! Uh, I think it just takes on that. Uh, if you deal damage, nope, it's bleed, it takes... it no, bleed. that's okay. not It's persistent. Right. I didn't know if it was just like that turn. Nope. Well, we're right. you're up. Okay, I am going to. Step back because I don't like being next to this nasty thing. Let's get out of here, Lyra. I've got uh, this. And then I'm going to attack with my scarf. Nice. Oh, so nice. Better. There you go. So that's twelve damage. I don't. I don't even think that you're. You're cheating, right? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That's I've coded it she, so it always she, she, she not 20s. <laughs> yeah. Slash roll twenty. <laughs> No, <laughs> it's got the quantum symbol next to it. Gosh darn yeah. it. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know how Roll20 works at all. I couldn't even. <laughs> right, um, and then I will cast shield. Because my AC's already suffering. <laughs> next? Oh my goodness. Muck. All right. Don't stop, Vlad. Get him! And uh, 
So Vlad attacks the closest I one. Yeah. So I need to put Jalandra on my uh, metasit list. <laughs> so there for 29, go. attack at 29, damage 11. Yeah. That um, was a critical hit. Yeah. Um, it felt that. Um, it certainly felt that. And then he will move. And Muck will move. Hmm. Hmm. Muck will move. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Two movement actions. Mm -hmm. Two strides. All right. So, as it so happens, are, are you within range? Are, are you doing the thing? I'm doing the thing. <laughs> <laughs> the thing. I'm doing the thing. We're doing a reach spell. And then a lovely little bit of electrical arc, and I hope I fix the macro by doing what I did. That's looking good. Looks like uh, two D four. No, no, it's still only did two D four. Why isn't at current level working? Oh well, then I'll just manually change it. I think you just need to yeah, manually put it in. Yeah, I'll just, just put out the D four. Put it in as it, and no longer That's use the macro. DC is twenty one. They both failed, so. Oh nice. Uh, there should be an extra D four damage as well. Another three, so, so fourteen. Nice. Nice. There we go. There you go. These guys hey, don't got to worry about the bleed on that one anymore. <laughs> no, the ah. bleed transfers to the gnome. Oh, uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> That's how it works. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to. <laughs> it just peels the wound off, slaps it on her forehead. It's fine. <laughs> uh, well, you're between it and where it would want to go, so it is going to uh, step up. Who does it want to try? It's going to step up. No, it's going to go faster. It's about to get mortalized. It's, about to, uh, it's going after the wolf. With a flurry of blows. Wait. Hold on. This what? thing has flurry of blows? Yep. Uh, so now. I've got a 20 versus the wolf. Uh, that's not going to be good enough. Ugh. Then nice. I have a 24. Against the wolf? Yep. That'll hit. Uh, take five slashing damage. Then okay. I have a 19, but that won't work. Not gonna work. All right. Never going to... What was that damage again? A uh, total of five, five slashing. And uh, let me check in here. Or oh, do you have something for me, Beaven? I don't believe anything's changed. Are you telling me we're not getting those big numbers? I mean, we we have big numbers. Just yeah. no one's donated since, which is mm. donate what you can. All right, we are doing a great job though. All right, Chai, I believe it is time for your halfling gnome to go. <laughs> Gnomaling. <laughs> Gnome. um, I I'm going to. And step back a bit because I don't want to. I want people between me and them. Yep. <laughs> like, right, right, right over how here. How about no? I don't want to be near that. So, thing. What, is everyone seeing those runes up in that room up there? <laughs> I'm not looking at that. I'm like, mm. Come right over here. It's much safer back here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yeah, stay back here. Um, actually, I probably shoot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Let, let's do that now that I'm way back yep. here. <laughs> far, far away from the thing with the punchies and the teeth and the pustules. It's fine. Feldia will kill it. Nice. Wow. All yeah, right. I got Full it. damage. Nice. Ooh, Maybe nice. Feldia won't have to. Maybe. <laughs> nope. Nice. Uh, and it works out. Oh, oh my goodness, another person is actually able to kill things. I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Unheard of. <sighs> Take a breath. Over. There's a horse. Yes, there is. Oh, she's friendly. She's mine. You came at quite an opportune time, friend. Do you live here or? 
What was the where, where did you come from? What was that blue door? Wait, everyone, before we continue, Luca pulls a paper out of his bag. I need you to sign this waiver. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is how he gets us all. <laughs> well, um, this is very strange. Do you know where did you come from? It's very curious that you just came out of nowhere. I popped into the hallway. Yeah, I don't know. I was running in the woods, and there were things I don't know what chasing me, and suddenly I was praying and running and then there was a door in front of me and I went through it because why not it's better than whatever is chasing me right I hope uh, well, and well, then I ended up here and I don't day. know where here is you're, you're alive so that's good uh, I yeah. find when you are running in desperate it's often when the gods reach out the blood begins growling at the oh. same time that failed here you feel like you see something to the north, oh past those okay. runes, but you don't really see what you, what you thought you saw move. But you oh do gosh. hear like a, a rustle of wind. Don't like it. If, uh, if I could. Every, everyone, uh, it appears that something is afoot. I'm not entirely sure what. Uh, but don't step into it. God. Well, I'm, I'm not stepping into the room, Spunk. I'm just. Sasha's gonna try and the just room. jump over the rocks to join us. Oh, uh, <laughs> my friend, you might want to step over here. Trust me, you don't want to get trampled. Don't know by. If that's high enough. Yes, you you do want to be careful. Uh, uh, <laughs> is there? Is... I think she just has to squeeze, doesn't she? She can get past. No. Yeah. Okay, cool. She just spends a bit of time awkwardly getting past. <laughs> um, that's what we call a horse on the rocks. Is there any <laughs> clue as to like what I could do to see it better, or because all like all what? I'm understanding is that there's a thing there that I don't see, but what I what do it. I see in this room? Um, you just see like I mean, there's probably a description here. I didn't think you guys would ask for that. <laughs> there isn't a some rocks over here. Yeah, no, wait. Like, it looks like some of the rocks they're crumbled from the wall. <laughs> okay, um, I'm, I'm back. I don't even off. know I'm what's in here off. yet. I'm backing off. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just have an impulse. Look over to our new member. This is every day. Fair warning. <laughs> that is it, man. You see exactly what you see there. Okay. Uh, can I do... Did you do a... have to seek? Um, Knowledge? Uh, Luca, you're better with these uh, magical arts. Could, uh, could you decide for what these runes are? Of? Excuse me. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, too exposed for my liking. Uh, let's see. What can I tell about these lovely little runes? And I would like to look at them too, but I just I don't have any. I'm not good with skills. All right. So we are looking at the. You're like these are some pretty runes. <laughs> <laughs> they certainly uh, stand out. Well, Luca, um, oh. they are amazing craftsmanship. Huh. <laughs> you craft um, yeah. Someone spent a lot of time for this. You would think that the stone, a lot of people would say that it is a, a lot of people would say that it is in fact granite, but it is actually limestone. Mm, uh, yeah. no, uh, 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 limestone, means, that's very interesting. As uh, far as the symbols are concerned, I will need to cast the spell to figure those out. Okay. So I'll do the detect magic read order combo. Okay. Phil Deer goes to Lyra. I have no idea what limestone is, honestly. <laughs> you, uh, uh, with those two particular spells, mm -hmm. <laughs> it yes. appears to be a, uh, has like a conjuration kind of a bent Something on it. Something circle. Hmm. I'm getting hints of conjuration. Mm. Some kind of summoning yeah. circle. Slight, slight hints of summoning. Um, what language are the runes? Is it like infernal? Because that could be bad. I mean, just because something is infernal doesn't mean that it's not okay. But it's often not a good start. Let's let's leave it at that. <laughs> Either way, usually when you're dealing with the infernal, you're definitely in for one hell of a story. That's a good joke. Thank I you. liked it. <laughs> I, I forgot to laugh. My apologies. Oh no worries. It was a. Uh... Oh, it was a good one. <laughs> Can I tell anything about the runes? Uh, maybe. Let's see. 
Uh, Feldir, you also seem to think that they are very well drawn on there. Right? They're amazingly <laughs> well drawn. You're like, oh, I can, if I could they're, read this, I'd be able to read beautiful it runes. so good. They're beautiful. I don't know much more than that. Uh, All right, Lyra. Ooh. Um, you're pretty sure that, um, I mean, you've dabbled maybe a little bit in the occult, um, and you think that it might have something to do with elemental type things. Okay, so possibly summoning some kind of elemental. Not necessarily as bad as a kind of demon, but not necessarily safe either. I, I believe I saw something. Could it be possible that there's an air and elemental in here that we can't That's really possible. perceive? That's possible. Do you think well, it's trapped? Muck. Fascinated by the circle, Muck is checking out this debris from the wall. As they're talking and you're looking at the debris from the wall, which is, it's just like normal, like breaking over time. Um, it kind of dawns on you. Elementals, summoning, runes. You can't see anything, but you heard the wind kind of thing. You know, they thought they saw something. And it dawns on you exactly what this is. There's probably an invisible Danger. stalker in that summoning circle. Oh, go in there! I, I, I've heard of creatures called uh, invisible stalkers. I, I always thought they were just nightmares. You, you know, stories to told to little orcs to keep them from running away from the circus. But uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe there's something trapped inside those runes. Well, I, uh, I wouldn't cross them. Do they? I mean, it doesn't sound nice. But are they evil, or is it? Well, it sounds like a lovely reason for us to turn around and keep <laughs> so, uh, Go the other way. <laughs> so, Muck, you know the following things. You know that they are they are elementals of the air type. Uh, they're usually medium in size. Uh, they're normally neutral uh, as elemental or extra planar things usually have specific alignments. Uh, they're usually summoned um, to track and uh, do unsavory things uh, violent tasks for powerful summoners. Um, Poor thing. But as it is probably dangerous. I, I assume you're explaining this to everyone or no? Sure, probably not in as much detail, but... Right. The general just. <laughs> about, the, about the time that you started talking about invisible stalkers and, and such as that, the, you guys all begin to hear like uh, the wind, only it's not just like wind blowing. You almost feel like there's a pattern to it or it's kind of laid out in a way. If any of us spoke the language of air elementals. <laughs> uh, you, um, oh, wait, we don't know your name yet. Um, little friend, what is your name? I'm Giandriel, but most people just call me Gia. Gia, it is a pleasure. You don't happen to speak the air elemental language, do you? <laughs> do you know elemental ease? I do not know elemental ease. Okay. Was a bit of a long shot. It made a bit of a long shot. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me, Mister. It would be handy. Maybe. It would have been. It would have been really funny. <laughs> Invisible stalker. If if you do speak common, that'd be quite useful. Um, hello. I feel like. I mean, you no know harm. Huh. Yes, unfortunately, Toby, I can only wait. It it really oh. depends on what the summoner said it to do. Uh, I... I mean, yes. It was certainly well, worth a shot. <laughs> if it's anything like the succubus we fought on the other side of this, I'd rather not open it up and let it out for a fight, personally. That's fair. Yeah, fair enough. it's hard to fight things you can't see. Remember the spider? So. I remember the spider. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, we I do. We spent five years on that spider. <laughs> like, uh, Whoa. I, so, uh, did we learn anything about the rebel as well? I know Muck was there looking was, at it, it but... It almost looks like uh, it was thrown and like banged into itself, right? The rebel. Yep. Something threw rocks at the wall. Yep. And they broke. Hmm. I oh. suggest we you guys, this you guys, see against the far wall that like the oh. wall begins to slide away. Ooh. Oh. There appears to be a 
a, a secret passage that the elemental can use? But uh, don't uh, go in, don't go in. Yes. Uh, is is there not a way around? Did, can we try looking this... around here? Yes. Don't yes, I, don't enter the circle. I don't know how the the tower did go further around. Yes. Um, yes. Let's come back to where it, I am. It seems to go through in the the circle of runes. Mark, seems to continue on the I other side. Walked into an animal's home. I'm not going through, but I can see through the doorway here. Let's see if we my can vision go is better than yours in the dark. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, I realize I think that. The lady with the horse might be onto something. Uh, <laughs> coming <laughs> around, I don't see anything. You hear a crack of thunder. Oh. I and then, as if oh. from nowhere, begins to rain inside the tower, as if oh. nature itself is out of whack. Okay, that's weird, right? And it is a torrent of rain. Ooh. Oh. And it begins to flood the floor. Oh, boy. Okay, should we go to the stairs? Uh, that might be a good idea. We need to get up. They were yeah. back here. And you can yes. see... Is there anything over there, oh. Faldea? Or are you, you just in the, the dark? Inside of the circle there, Luca, as you're walking away. Yep. It begins to kind of like spiral a little bit. And it's banging up against the side of this summoning circle as if there's like a wall there. I'm going to... Oh, God. Why am I being so nice to this thing? It's never done anything good for me. It will probably try to kill me if I free it. Do I know of any way okay. I could delay reaction? Oh, actually, do I have that spell? Let's find out if I have that spell. If I have that can by the way, we can do this safely. Is uh, Luca low for anyone else? Yeah. Oh, that might just be me. I apologize. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. Further away from his microphone. Yeah, that just might be where I put my mic He's today. Screaming across the room. Basically, um, can this do what I would want it to do? Press the group station. Cook, cool, warm, lift slowly. Uh, tidy or clean? Do I think I could press to digitate these runes away? Uh, you are pretty sure that you could you could get rid of them with an Arcana check. Uh, you don't think press the digitation has enough power to affect the magic of these runes? Okay. Um. I'll kind of yell out to the group. Everyone, against my better judgment, I don't really... I personally do not really feel comfortable leaving a creature like this uh, trapped and enslaved behind these runes. Perhaps we can free it later on our way out. I... It's going to drown. Yes, that's the worry that I have. Well, well then perhaps it should stop making rain. Uh, I, think I don't think let that's it out, doing... It might just run out, so we'll just... I'll run it out. If it tries out. to kill us, we fight it. If it doesn't try to kill us, well, then we've done a good deed for the day. Uh, okay. Just blessing. remember the succubus. Uh. I support this, Luca, because I have no recollection of this succubus. Yes, well, <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. Oh, I'm sure. It was, it was an encounter that we it dealt was. with. <laughs> of uh, course it was bad. Arcana check? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no bonuses. 27. Uh, you are pretty sure that you can remove these runes either uh, forcefully or you could probably uh, delicately remove them and maybe even give yourself a little bit of time before they fade and break. Your I'll call. delicately remove them. All right. Roll me then... a d6. Okay. Oh. That's how many hours it takes. No. <laughs> All right, you're you're pretty sure you've got anywhere from uh, five to fifteen seconds before they break. All right, everyone, let's head run to the stairs. Uh, you're free now. Please don't come and kill us. <laughs> Very well. You guys go ahead. I will watch the, out. The stairs up, right? Yes. Roll me a diplomacy, Luca. Oh. Luca, you're not good at this, are you? <laughs> my dump stat. Of course it is. <laughs> Listen, everyone else is doing charismatic things. I thought we need some intelligence. <laughs> uh, diplomacy, you say? Yeah. Uh, I'll have to use my hero point to re-roll that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I doubled my roll. <laughs> you doubled your roll! You I mean, that's what? A 200% increase? Okay, yeah. where do you guys go? What do you do? Uh, well, we're, we're heading towards the spiral off, right? staircase. So we're running towards the stairs. Yep. Right. I wouldn't say running, but... There. <laughs> I will watch the rear, so you guys go ahead. Oh, well. 
All right. Blind you all. Let me. Gia, you might want to follow. Oh, we all, we all go to the top anyway. <laughs> Uh, gee, can you see in the dark? Does me running away stop you from being able to see? Just want to make sure. It does. She has a little light vision. I will stay with you because, yes. That makes sense. Yep. Alright, so up the stairs we go, correct? As you're going through that room. Uh, what what is this thing? That is a gong. Oh, oh I'm so tempted. When uh, <laughs> <laughs> when when the viewers get to where we are, they're going to uh, going to be amazed that I know exactly what's going on without looking at that map. <laughs> All right, there may even be some uh, flavor text. Ooh, Ooh box text. Let's see. Oh, an enormous spiral staircase leads up from the east end of this room. Near the doorway, a large, jagged iron ring. Apparently, the top half of a cauldron hangs from a frame of wood and bones next to it, a large stone hammer. So it is a gong, but it's made out of a large, jagged iron ring. Okay. Uh, we're hearing Billy being flooded out, so I don't know if the gong is of yeah. the most importance. Uh, it, the rain has stopped being a torrent now. and becomes okay. like a drizzle, but it's about knee deep. Everything is difficult to rain. Yeah, no, let's go up. Wow. <laughs> knee deep Man. water in a building is not exactly something no, else. That's, that's a lot of water. That is if a lot of water. want to use electric clock. Oh, well. <laughs> is this fire still lit? Is this fire still lit? Does that mean it's like waist deep water for me? Yep. Oh yeah, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you want me to? <laughs> uh, oh, so you all right to go up the stairs? <laughs> Please answer Same idea. a yay or a nay. <laughs> oh, oh. So you guys begin uh begin going up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you finally took it back. <laughs> what? These stairs aren't crumbly like the other ones, are they? I hope not. Because <laughs> Sasha's in front of me. <laughs> Everyone's going to be under Sasha. All right, now, place our bets. How much do we want to bet we get ambushed at the top of the stairs? Oh, 100%. Oh, I'm, I don't think anyone's going to, like, oppose you. <laughs> the amount of preparation that James has been doing, 100% Like, we are so ambushed. screwed. <laughs> It's fine, we have a healer now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right, so you guys climb hey! that spiral staircase for about a hundred hey! feet up. You go from about the middle of the Aaron Tower all the way to the top. Uh, there is a lengthy um, uh, thing. But I'm going to oh, do this myself. 30. So what you see is, is when you come up, you see what appears to be a... Uh, Four kind of the fightery type Zolgas. I believe they even have names for you guys for shits and giggles. And then you see what appears to be another Zolgas. And he is currently leaning on what appears to be some kind of a, a wooden mallet. And he's looking out off this uh, top of this tower. And there's this three foot diameter fiery orb that is just spinning around it. Uh, much like in Aeon Stone would spin around somebody's head. Uh, over on the west side there, you see what appears to be a pterodon uh, with what may be an injured wing. Oh. And it's just kind of sitting there. And you see that the, the one Zolgath, you know, after after standing there for a second as you guys are walking up, he kind of turns slowly. And he's like, ah, you're the one staring through my people. Captain Nagash, we only attacked those who attacked others. You are Captain Nagash, are you not? You will not need to remember my name. We don't need to fight here. What is, what is your aim? The stones will be mine again. Again? 
stones. The orbs, I assume he means. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean again? Enough talk. Oh. Oh. Kind of cracks his neck. Step the right other way, then. And then we're going to roll some initiative. Ooh. Yep. Everybody's rolling perception, so you know what? Don't don't roll it. I'll just roll it for everybody. Watch this. Oh. This will oh. be amazing. Uh, oh. Well, what? Oh. Fancy? Uh, I don't like my roll. Can I re-roll? <laughs> <laughs> I like my roll. Plus, you rolled for Vlad, who doesn't get a roll. Yeah, it's not just there. So... Yeah, but it's easy Sasha to get rid of here. Vlad and then also Sasha. That was an yeah. 18 for me. Oh, that's a terrible Sasha's roll. Sasha's become like... All right, go ahead and roll your own if you're not happy. Yay. <laughs> I don't care. Just... No, I'm good. Fine. <laughs> I'm keeping that one. <laughs> Never all look good. Three. But hey, one better. <laughs> Two. Oh, no. so we're, Chai... we're all looped together. It's all them all. <laughs> yeah, it changes so. Chai, nothing. Since... Oh, sorry. Chai, since we share initiative, we get to choose which one goes first. So if you want to go first before me, you can. No, oh, Feldy, I was you... going to buff you before you moved. <laughs> Ugh. Fine, I'll hold my action and do absolutely. Are you serious? After you rolled your own initiative, you're going to go? <laughs> it doesn't change anything. <laughs> All right. Uh, you see that on, he kind of lifts this uh, this wooden mallet up, and he pulls a glowing dagger from his waistband, and he sticks it in the top of this this mallet. He pushes it down and twists it, and the mallet begins to change to like some kind of full metal looking mall cool it's like the power of the dark lands will bury you and everyone needs to roll fortitude saves because oh yay my favorite oh yeah oh yeah i got you all because i'm still drain three did it roll Ooh, Ooh, i'm not i got a a hero point on that one okay burning them hero points I, i got I, I keep in three. mind for when I inevitably die. Hey, it's so much better. <laughs> I think it's more fun to fail it. So. Another ten dollar donation. Ooh, Another twenty dollar donation from Anon. Woo! Wow. Oh, thank you. Wow. All right, is everybody yeah. saving throws good now? Yes. As long as twenty uh, plus so. is good. <laughs> I'm taking it. All right, I'm going to go from the bottom up. Uh, Vlad, 20, failed. You are second one on Vlad. Wow. Uh, 24, Muck, you are fine. Uh, Feldir, 29, you are fine. Luca, 24, mm-hmm. you are fine. Lyra, 13, you already know is not good. You are second uh, <laughs> one. That's close to a crit fail. Um, I'm actually 10, so I'm assuming Oh, no so that fail. is a crit fail. Uh, yeah. You are second one. And yep. you have a five foot status penalty to speeds. Did oh, you roll cool. for Sasha? I haven't, no. I was just thinking that because I'm not moving myself. Um, so, fort safe for Sasha? Mm-hmm. Uh, she also got a 10. Okay. And so, so, the same thing for her. And then, um, yeah. uh, Chai, Gia, you also are sickened one. Uh, what sickened does is it essentially lowers everything you do. Or have a number four by one. So your armor class damage. is one less. Your saving throws are one less. Your skill checks are one less. Your attack rolls are one less. The only thing okay. that doesn't change is damage. Okay. And you also can't willingly ingest anything. All right. You can't drink a potion. But so, yeah, you that. can spend a single action on your turn to retch... To, um, to, to make a new fortitude save. Gotcha. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. Now, technically, you could spend all three actions to make those saves um, if but you don't you succeed on the first on two. You yeah. <laughs> or okay. you can just take the penalty. Okay. Hmm. Now, and I'm still fatigued as well. Ugh. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> So that was one action, was to do what he did. And then he begins casting. Cool, 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 cool. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. I need... Wow, you guys got lucky on this damage roll. Mm -hmm. Uh, Maybe, maybe. Oh. So, I have... 
a 31 to hit on Sasha. On Ooh. Sasha? On Sasha. Ouch. Oh, gosh. That's a crit. Sasha takes... Are you ready? 34 points of cold damage. Just goes down. Oh, wow. He's dying too. <laughs> oh. Wait, how much health did Sasha have? She was on 33. <laughs> wow. Uh, what I'm going to need for you to do is... You're riding her, correct? Yes. So, uh, go ahead and make me a... Well, there's not a ride check, so let's call it a nature check. Or acrobatics, your choice. Would it not be like a reflex you. save? Or uh, acrobatic? Yeah, you can do reflex, that's fine. Acrobatics, reflex, nature. Um, I'll do... Acrobatics, this will obviously be at minus one. Sixteen. Sixteen's fine. Uh, you can land on your feet there in any square adjacent to her. Your choice. Okay, I will land here. Alright. And that is his move. And when he when he does that, what you see is is an utterly cold ray of darkness tinged with unholy energy kind of like darts out of his hand and it passes directly through Sasha and continues on but it only hurts the one target and she just kind of crumples with frost appearing on her uh, fur and mane oh, whose turn is it? Mine. Oh, Lyra's so turn. Lyra's gonna say, The horse? You monster! And then I'm gonna battle medicine, Sasha. Okay. Um, so she's gonna recover 11 hit points. And go to wounded one. And go to wounded one, yes. And then I'm going to command her. She's going to stand up. And then she's gonna run. Um... <laughs> right yeah. off the tower. <laughs> Right off the tower. Oh, actually, that might not be a good idea. Yeah, she might get busted off. Okay, she'll move to here. Um, and then I have one action left. So I will attack the Zolgath uh, next to me. Okay. Sorry, I'm really upset right now. My poor horse. Okay. Um, this guy's going yeah, down. Really Why really can upset. I not? Wow, that's my second crit fail on an attack today. Oh. You always remember the bad rolls. You never remember the good ones. Uh, right, well, that's that's my turn. All right, Gia. I... I'm going to cast bless. That's a good one. Bless. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna Perfect actually, do, yeah, cast some magic-y stuff. Thank you, Bonsai, for your donations to both of the uh, charities. Wow, Bonsai really wants them books. <laughs> guys, better get in there and get you some books, get you some donations in. Okay, so uh, do you know how Bless works? Um, I'm looking at the thing and so anyone <laughs> anyone that is within five feet of you right now yeah gains a plus one status bonus to attack rolls that's it yeah so on all of your turns you can spend a an action only once per turn to okay. increase the range of that by another five feet up to a maximum range i guess there isn't a maximum range uh, just as long as you can sustain it for yep which well, is well one minute so there's yeah. technically Technically, there's a max. But... It's going to be 55 feet if you do it. And it's an emanation, so it travels with you. Yep. So anyone within, anyone adjacent to you now has that bonus as well as yourself. Yes. Mm. Now, now it's, um, it's two, two to cast. So you still have one action that you cannot use to make it bigger until next turn. I'm going to use the one action I have left to shoot at the guy who hurt the horse okay nice. because that's just rude don't hurt so, the horse <laughs> um i don't think you're going to be able to shoot him because you're kind of like down the steps and okay so he's like 10 oh, feet yeah, above you in a way over uh, here, yeah. you could Come definitely on. hit the one next to lira if you wanted okay 
That works. Okay. Wow. Hey. <laughs> I mean, roll damage. He Jesus. said definitely. He said definitely. <laughs> he did. Right. So it was like guaranteed. So Jesus. it was an eight plus six. Um, I don't know, yes. Matt. Like, I, she's she's more beneficial to the party than you were. Damn. Damn. <laughs> That's like a thousand telekinetic projectiles right there. That is. <laughs> well, to be fair, Matt usually actually did hit with those. Yeah, no, he did. Matt was the one that. Actually I don't know. Did she's something. rolled like three criticals and only attacked like five times, bro. I don't. No, I'm not saying did that. You, did you add close. the deadly damage? I sure did. Sure thing. All, All right. right. Well, that Brilliant. is it for Very Gia. Nice. Jeez. Who's next, man? Who's... Uh... Oh, man. Felder? Hi. It's me. Who's next? Yeah. <laughs> the monkey clown. Uh, oh, uh, Chai, you got to do the uh, turnover. Turn thing. Oh, I'm sorry. Turn over. No, you're good. All right. Big Feldir. The How oldest hard is it? human ever. I mean, he is like a hundred something. Yeah. He's very old. It's like a century uh, and a half old, yeah. How? Because how would it be to climb up to here? Like, is it just like a thing I have to do that takes up some movement, or? Uh, so we're just gonna call that uh difficult terrain. So that will just be two feet of movement or two squares of movement for you to get there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna get in this grill. Ugh, I want to shove so bad, but I'm going to limit myself right now. I'm gonna get into <laughs> my stance, and I'm gonna do flurry of blows. Okay. We love that. Uh, ooh, crit fail, which I might. Yeah, he just he just kind of dodges dodges that, you know. I kind of want to do a hero point on that. Uh... How many do you have? I oh, got yeah. two. Uh, two. Yeah, let's do a hero point on that. Um, so same damage. I'm just gonna do the attack. I think I've got the one. Uh oh, plus one to this as well, so twenty, which is still trash. Ugh. You uh, no, re-rolled it, or is that you're, you're, the second one? You're no longer in the emanation. That was oh oh, so it's just while you're there, it's not. Yeah, like, it's, oh, it adds to you. Yep, now yep, within range of her. Yep. Okay, so never mind. Uh, that is the first attack re-rolled, but it's still a miss. So it's a 19. Yeah. Oh yeah, that misses. Uh, uh and he then is a, he is he is apparently wearing scale mail, as you can see in his little token picture there. I think we can. Yeah. Do. We can, okay. What is it? Alt Z, Control Z, uh, F Z. Z. I'm gonna yeah, get it eventually, more... guys. There he is. Ooh. Oh, he's quite cute. He is. Cute. He did attack my horse, so he's gonna die. They were right, charged so to be diplomatic. One move, attacked a flurry, and what else did you do? Uh, oh shit! It was just one move, wasn't it? Oh, no, no stance. Yeah. stance. Yeah. So you need a fortitude save. Uh, I need. Oh no, because neither of them hit. Neither of them hit. No. Nope. Nope. Yeah. My bad. My bad. All right, Lucas. Wow, way to rub it in. <laughs> hey, sorry. Remember how I said you should wait? Well, now I have to spend an action to reach spell, and now two actions to give you striking. Who did we give striking to? Feldir. Feldir. So you now have a, well, you already had a plus one to hit due to the falcon gloves, uh, but now you also do an additional die of damage. Okay. Yep. Nice, thank you. Told you to wait, but uh, you ran off. Oh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot. I'm it very old. It's Muck's turn. Rod, get up there and do some damage. Yes, it will help. And blood bounds up the stairs and attacks the first one he sees. It's flat-footed. It's just such a... Yep. And he's still got a minus one because of the sickness, but... We'll see where that comes into play. I don't know. Nice. 21. That definitely <laughs> hits. <laughs> and, uh, wow. 15 damage, huh? Definitely does yes. that. One down. He definitely Good does some damage. And then Muck begins casting. Uh, he holds up his, holds up his staff and his whole form shifts. As he becomes a bear. Nice. Ooh. Muxka. Now, is this a layer <laughs> token that you built? It sure is. Hey. Yay. Are you a medium or a uh, large? Just bear? medium. Okay. And when I heighten it to fifth level, I'll be large. Nice. All right. But so I can't do that for a few levels. 
Yeah, I do gain stuff some off the ground. Temporary hit points, though. This tower has been full of lizard people and birds. Weird looking birds. <laughs> it flies above everyone and lands on the ground. Uh oh. Which will provoke to you. To me? Well, yeah, stand still. Uh, does it look hostile towards me? That's my question. 100%. Oh, okay. Oh. Then, yeah. <laughs> I was hoping it would help us. Ugh. Yeah. Uh, no, yeah right. I was like, oh, maybe it has, it's on it our side. Like a, a like a saddle thing on. Uh, God damn. Can I not roll? Ooh, 19. I have not rolled above a five. Well, no, the 18 is was. a hit. Oh, it was. So 12 damage. 12 damage. Mm. Oh, wait, no. I didn't add the extra die, did I? Uh, yeah, it, another 1d8. Nope, it doesn't know. Oh, hey. <laughs> what do you damage? Holy damage. cow. I will fix that in my sheet. Uh, All right, well, <clears throat> it's there. Uh, I made the right call. All right. But... Yeah, no, holy cow. And we then left... it will take... Oh, it gets two attacks. And a five hits it, it for swoop. me, so that's good. Yeah, it nice. swooped in on you. So let's get its character sheet open here. Don't swoop me. It I don't want to be swooped. Tax with its beak. I don't like it being swooped. Swoop armor class 30? Uh, 30 does hit and is not a crit. But it's in that 20. <laughs> just give me, just give me, just do it. Just do it. Just do it. 12 damage. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Then it. Then it does one third as well with its second attack and hits an armor class of ten. Nope. Damn. Okay, well I <laughs> Which is Zulgath is oh that one. Uh well Lear is right there. Yeah. RP guys. Right there. Is this is this the day that Lyra goes down? So it's <laughs> I'm saving my hero point for my inevitable death. <laughs> <laughs> 27. Well, we have a healer 27 now. Hit. We do have a healer. That is so. 7 bludgeoning damage. Right. And then there's a claw. But that's a natural one, so. Hmm. Uh, this one's going to put you into flank. Okay. Uh, it's uh, striding are, there, right? They're, they're talking. Uh, uh, Kavnakash is definitely throwing... Uh, commands out, right? Like, not action he commands, but he's definitely, you know what I mean? Like, kill yeah, that yeah. one, like, kill this one, flank with me, that kind of stuff. He's coordinating his forces. Um, but he's not He's not saying it, he's saying it in, like, it, it almost sounds like common, but there's, like, some kind of, it, it's like a deeper, like, it older under version. Common? It is older, under common. You speak that oh, one? I understand it then. Yeah, yeah, so you definitely know he's in charge of whatever's going on, and they obey his commands <laughs> immediately like a military force hmm. uh, so it does put you in a flank and then it Rude. clubs you in the back of the head with a 19 flat footed and does not hit oh my god he spins a hero point and re-rolls wait hold on <laughs> huh <laughs> but anyway his claw, not comes a hero. At you. his claw comes at you marcy's mm -hmm. gonna hate me when i do this 25 it's a natural 20 isn't it yeah <laughs> uh, I love it. viewers can see it it's so good I'm dude i do not know why i crit you so much dude it's so rude i don't, really don't appreciate it <laughs> it's great so How that's a damage? hit turned into a crit is that right yes uh take a big old 12 slashing what's with all the he rolled six 12 man. damages it's not even his max man he could have done like 20 well, uh, that would be rude, and I would not appreciate it. And I would call him. I would write him a sternly written letter. <laughs> this one, you oh, know, uh, listens to commands as well. And you jumped up there like Billy Badass. Fair enough. Okay. <sighs> so he tries to club you. Can't wait mm -hmm. to find it. Twenty flat-footed. Twenty flat-footed is not a hit. Wow. Or I'm mm. so yeah, twenty five foot. You have a twenty three armor class. I do have a twenty three armor Level class. Level five now. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I god, mean, this is fucked up. Dude. Shut the fuck up. You shut did not the crit again. Shut up. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Go look at his Twitch stream. I saw it. I saw it, and I'm very mad. 
<laughs> just do it. What is it? Twelve damage again? Say it's twelve damage. It is twelve damage. <laughs> the curse of magic weapon continues. Holy cow! It's, this is ridiculous. I'm casting that spell. <laughs> I, I can't. can't, I, can't uh, I can't. Do we have a donation to do? I need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, uh, now we were fifty-five dollars away from the next draw. Roll twenty draw. Oh my yeah. god, fifty-five dollars away! But book one if, is getting close to being over. You donate fifty-five dollars. I will gladly let fail deer die right here, right now. Oh no, please if, don't. No, no, don't. If someone donates fifty-five <laughs> this second. Do it. I, 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 hundred percent. Oh my god, that is the best. I, I'm so sorry, Mark. We have to give it like one minute. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no. Just, Someone donates 55. I'll do it. I'll just be like, okay, I'm putting you, down my weapons. You may I'm not dead. have a choice. <laughs> I may you not. May not. But like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my God. Oh. If, we, if our healer could just like top Feldir. Yeah, if I could get one, if I could get one of those heals, please. Yeah, if I could just get one. On yeah, when, <laughs> when we get to my turn, things might happen. Thank you. Maybe. <laughs> Please. <We need> <laughs> just a little. Just a little. Heal. All right. So the first thing he does is he begins casting a spell. You're not going to like this. None of you. Mm -hmm. As this spell is a manipulate trigger. Oh, wait. Feldy's already used his reaction. Never mind. And uh, would, I have stand still. I don't have attack of opportunity. Uh huh. Okay, so um, the words to this sound like a, a, a kind of a, a backwards spell that you've heard your new friend cast, and you've heard Muck cast, but they're kind of like weird and backwards. Um, everyone within 30 feet needs to make a... What save is that? Uh, what save is Please not fort. Please not fort. It's fort. If it's the spell, I think. It's... Oh, Sasha's not in 30 feet! Yeah! Uh, <laughs> I am not. Uh, it is save? a fortitude save. Yep. No. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna die. That's Everybody seven. <laughs> you guys are actually a level higher than you're supposed to be to be here too. That's the fun. Yeah, but I've also drained three, fatigued one, and sickened one. <laughs> Imagine being all of oh, that. Oh yeah. And I haven't rolled above a ten like this entire combat. So. Well, is that everybody? Nope, still waiting. Everybody but Sasha. I will use my hero point to re-roll that. Okay. I'm going to go better. <laughs> and then I will roll Mux. Or, excuse me, Vlad's. All right, hopefully 20 is high enough this time. All right, so Was he in Gia the range? And Muck, he is. He's within 30 feet. No, oh, he's, he's at 35. Nope. Yep, he's not in range then. So, uh, Gia right, so 20 and doesn't matter. Muck, you will take half damage from this. The rest will take full. Uh, Wait, Muck quick succeeded. Oh, well then he will take none. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, good. It comes 12 damage. I don't know if the height, if there's a height adjustment with the wall at all that helps. Yeah. But... Uh, it will be 14 negative energy damage coming to everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, what's my alignment? Because that, oh, never mind. So, 14. seven for me and Muck. Oh, dear. Uh, Muck's going to oh. take none. <laughs> you still standing, Phil? I'm, I'm, well, I'm standing. I'm on two HP. I'll come and deal uh, with you. Yeah. I'm on seven. <laughs> um, we're going to... No, you, you all are going to take your time. It's all right. We all get to go next. Yeah. yeah. And don't forget about the healing potions that you have. Uh, do, uh, I do, can't ingest anything right this now. This one crumbles to dust. Oh, okay. Oh, because it also hits his allies. It doesn't have nice. luck. That's good for us, at least. He does not. Well, at least I didn't crumble to dust. That would have sucked. <laughs> hey, he's helping us out. If you know? someone would have <laughs> donated, you might have. Hey. <laughs> you still got, like, what? Two more minutes, I'm going to say? And then... <laughs> and then he looks you dead in the eye with his final action and he swings this hammer oh he harmed okay two. yeah he harmed oh he did yeah three three yeah. actions he's done yeah i can harm yeah, I was gonna oh, say, okay. wait. <laughs> Lyra, I you're up. okay 
I'm alive! <laughs> okay, I am going to... Vlad growls from behind you. Okay. Um, I'm going to... Command... No, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm just gonna... Attack this guy. Okay. Um, let's see if I can not crit fail an attack roll for once. Uh, no. Any of these will be at minus one. You absolutely cannot. Oh my <sighs> god. 27. 27 hits. 27 is a critical hit. Nice. So that's 16 damage. <laughs> Which is enough to completely erase it from all memory. Oh goodness. So that's yeah. one action. Um, You're on a and roll. And then... I will... Take out and drink a potion? I can't. I'm sickened. Oh, wretch? Yeah, I'm going to try retching. But the thing is, because I'm a fortitude save, I don't know if it's worth it, because I'm always at minus three. Maybe run in command Sasha. Um, I'm going to... I don't I don't want to send Sasha into danger. She's already wounded one. Um, well, you don't need to go into danger at two hit points either. So. No, so I'm going to... Try and get out of its range and cast shield. Okay. Nice. Who's next? Okay. Gia, what have you got? Oh, no, oh that changes what I got. <laughs> so, <laughs> give me one second. No, do that one. Actually, no, I think I'm okay. Okay, Um, Gia is going to run up the stairs to, like, the top so okay. i can see everyone mm -hmm. and be like ah and i am going to cast using th all three actions you can't you use one to move oh if yeah, you want to go right, back and cast it from so, down there you can i wouldn't hit who i needed to hit if i yeah, did do the two way. on Belbier. he's in the middle of it all yeah yeah and also that heals me a little bit more yeah two action on Belbier is good i mean you would hit everybody Including, including the yeah, guys. including the enemies. Yeah. First okay. Time. Then yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two action fell there. Or three action everybody including. Or two action. Guys. No. Yeah. Two action. No, I can. I can three action and hit everyone except Lyra. And yeah, but you'll Sash. hit the enemies. As you'll well. hit the enemies as well. Yeah, you'll heal the enemies. Oh, I didn't realize heal all that living actually... creatures. Oh, yep. you're right. Yeah. Reading spells, guys. It's well, very uh, important. Pterodons are extinct, so they're not technically <laughs> living. Is that what we're going to try and roll with? <laughs> okay, so, yeah, then, okay, then what I'm going to do Go to the top and two action heal Feldir because he's the one that needs it. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah like that's what I'm doing. I'm in two action Feldir. Um, he's in the middle of the mic now. Where it's like, Please. <laughs> <sighs> Um, and well, then, um, yeah, and I cool. use my last action to move, so that is no, all. That, yeah, yeah, so that's 12 the plus the Good 24 job. then? Yep. Okay, nice. Uh, What is that then? 36? Oh, wait, no, wait, uh, wait, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, yeah, is that think? done wrong? Wait. Uh, uh, that's why I'm trying to find out if it did it wrong. So you've rolled 3d10 there, and there should be an extra 8. Yeah, um, there should be an extra 8. Eight for every so level, twenty I healing, I think. Well, if you're casting it as a third level spell, it should be twenty. Oh, right now. wave. It's yeah. third level, yeah. Yeah. Also, why is it rolling d tens? Because I have the feet. feet to boost okay. it to d tens instead of d eights. Yeah. I took okay. that. That's nice. <laughs> but yeah, and then the it extra healing actions, it increases, increases by eight. By eight. Per level, so it should be eight times three is twenty-four. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. That's right. Three d ten. Yeah. Okay. So that pretty much counteracts the three crits I dealt with. Yes. yes. So that was very nice. Good job. <laughs> Thank you. You, you, did, you didn't like all those crits that came at you. You know, I would rather not. Honestly, I would rather not have to deal with crits. Oh well. Uh, no, you're not Kevin allowed to. Cash do has has some more crits for you soon. So. You're not allowed to do any more crits. Okay. Uh, but I do have three actions, and I'm surrounded by all the enemies. Uh, Flurry of Blows on Gavin and Pash Nash Nash. Oh. <laughs> what was that? I didn't see A it. Crit? Oh, yes! Ooh, and, revenge. Uh, Feldir, you, it's, your weapon is still striking, right? Uh, I did not add the extra damage. Oh, God. <laughs> die, an extra die of Hold damage. Hold on. 
Uh, I'm assuming the second one hits, so I'm only going to do the 1d8. Uh, can I hit the 1d8 button, please? Thank you. Uh, so another 6 so damage. 13, so 26, 26 damage. damage. Against Cabinet nice. Cash. Yep. Johnny Cash. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm going to need that fortitude save, that little 40 fort. Don't forget here. the persistent bleed. And there's persistent bleed as well. Wow, it's DC 21. I had all my fun, and now you guys are going to kill yeah. me. Now, now, <laughs> I now I we're going to have our fun. Like, <laughs> my it was your turn, and now it's our turn. What's the DC? 21. Pass. Oh, I tried. Uh, so that was one attack. I'm going to do a punch Oop, wrong button i'm going to do a normal punch against the pterodon uh i do not have the extra d8 added to this so i have to add that uh probably will miss anyway uh, 14 does that hit miss that misses. It's big misses. Yeah, it's quite, like, okay uh, yeah it was it was worth <laughs> a try uh and i'm going to step there would be a cute way to step, right? Who's next? Luca? Mark. Um, I'm going to step. Step. There, yeah. Here. Okay, cool. That seems cute. Yeah, that's what I'll do. And that's my turn. Okay. Okay. So, James, let me ask you a question. Let me answer a question. If I'm in this <laughs> square right here, with my 30 foot line. Pop the two of them. Uh, which color is yours? Black. And what are you wanting to do? Uh, I'm going to be doing a 30 foot line spell. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So then, yeah, Luca will step to there and then we'll uh, have the frog kind of jump out. <laughs> it'll send out its tongue and it'll open its mouth. And instead of a frog tongue, a whole bunch of horrific tentacles will come shooting out. Oh god, <laughs> that's horrifying. Uh, so, uh, DC will be a lovely bit of a. Uh, um, Anyone? DC is a twenty-one fortitude save. Yep. For the pterodactyl pet, the dactyl and the boss. Technically, it's a pteranodon. Yeah, it's actually a yeah. pteranodon <laughs> and a 22 on the boss. So, two damage? Uh, so, yep, yeah, two damage. And oh. no persistent bleed. Oh, well. Watch this, though. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> no! no. Hey, thank it. you for the follow, Gamble the question is, Shroud the 87. Like, pulling the pteranodon into the frog's mouth. <laughs> yes, they do. It just. <laughs> It just oh. consumes it. There's like a little bit of a burp. <laughs> a feather oh, comes dear. out. <laughs> pat it on the head. Nice one. <laughs> All right. Alrighty. So, uh, Muck will step to the edge of the stairs and then clamber his way out in a huge bear form. And push his way over to place Cavendish in a flank. All right. Do you have a reaction? If I do, I'm not using it on you right now. All right. <laughs> that and sounds then, weird. So that is one move. So the next move is to attack mm. with mm. my jaws. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, that's not a good Ugh, one. God damn, why can't we hit against this guy? Yeah, because I mean you did. You, you I got the him. one hit. Um and then uh and then he will uh swipe with one of his bear claws since it's agile. Okay. Oh, that's right, you're not gonna That's not bad. Ooh. Miss. Flat footed. Ugh. Flat footed. Just verifying. Yeah, miss. Even flat foot. Ugh, tragic. Oh wait. And Vlad moves over. Is that wait. is that already have the negatives in? Yeah, that's already got my penalty yep, minus four. Actually hits. Nice. Oh, hey. thank you. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> Twenty hits. 
<laughs> Flat footed. Ugh. All right. I can oh, hit that if I just hold like warrior. slightly. Well, decent. this guy will put you in flank. <laughs> it's like a terrible game of checkers. <laughs> Armor class 23. Yeah, that hits. Ugh. 10 piercing damage as he bites you. All right. Then he rakes a claw across your bear like flanks. 15 armor class, flat footed. Misses. Ugh, he's done. <laughs> but now the fun happens. I don't like that. No, no fun. <laughs> he's not so allowed. So Kavnagash is tired of casting spells. He's going to swing so down on the bear with his oh. hammer. Good luck. Armor it's class him. 34. Yep, that's going to hit. Ow. Take 28 points of bludgeoning damage. Oof. Yeah. That's that's the critical damage, right? Yep. 28? Yep. Ugh. Okay. Yep. And then I got to read something here. I don't know. Crit effects. Um, because... Gosh, I just found there. Did you get crits back with his weapon? Let's see. It is going to. Then it turns. Then he turns oh. to look at Feldir. Hello. And he essentially yells in Undercommon something. Luca, he yells. I'm going to destroy you. Oh, Feldir, look out. Then oh, I need I'm a sorry. basic fortitude save, Feldir. Oh, fine. Uh, t -t 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 -t. Hey, that's not bad. That's not bad. 25 is a... F Ooh, is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? <laughs> and I get it's plus close. one if it makes it a success. It's a pass. It's a pass. Uh, I only so? take 200 d10. <laughs> <laughs> No, half of 200. So you have taking 200. 10 points of... What kind of damage is this? It is... Good damage, mm, and I don't take any of it. <laughs> sonic damage. Ugh. Okay. Uh, no, he has a screwdriver. And he ro Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> what? I, oh, I, I might hold on, what's that mean? Play, play, play that okay. has a screwdriver magic wand. <laughs> Ugh. You're good. And then his turn is over. Is that it? Yep. Here it is. Okay, there okay. we go. Um, I am going to delay my did turn. Did he take his bleed damage? Oh. Oh. Uh, yes, did you, you did not. I, I'm going to. Stop rushing me. One damage. <laughs> <laughs> we interrupted this. Lyra's going to delay her turn anyway. <laughs> I am. All right, Gia, you're up. Okay, because I don't know how Pathfinder works. Right. If I have, no, never mind. I wouldn't have enough. Never mind that thought. I am going to uh, run over here and <coughs> one action heal on Lyra. Oh, thank you. If you have two actions, yeah, it's you... better to use two because yeah, of that's the true. immense amount was... of healing it does. I was going to attack with my last one. Yeah, I mean, do, do that, that's your choice. But don't, oh, even, don't I could stay me. there, do yes. two yeah. actions, two action get heal. the 30 feet, yes. and then attack. Yeah. Yep. I, I am following. It, yeah, it we'll get timing. there, don't worry. We you will get there. Always, you almost always want to use the two action heal because it's it's literally... It's so good. Yeah, it's like yeah. casting two spells, two one action spells at range. Yeah. I, I forgot that movement takes a action. Yeah. <laughs> that it's, that's the thing that I've gotta get. We'll get there. <laughs> so it's the same pity as like a that, one action seven? magic missile. That's so good. Thank you. See now I can actually take a turn and help after Okay, and yeah. then <laughs> yeah, for my last action I am going to shoot my bow at incoming the critical hit. <laughs> Or crit fail. No. I mean, uh, it's a only hit. a 21. That's a hit, actually. Oh, oh it's, it's only a 21? Yeah. Put, you're blessed. No. She is. You didn't Does sustain it. Stay... 
yeah it I don't... stays you don't you don't it's not sustained one minute it's just you can sustain it to make it further but it lasts for one minute regardless okay so you do I have didn't... your plus one for less okay i didn't know if that was a drop nope. okay it doesn't cool. have sustained in its duration nice so, okay so that's still 22. 22. yeah <laughs> that's a hit roll damage nice one. Ooh, nice 10 damage bs man <laughs> Guys, we're running out of book one. They can only role play so much after this. We combat. can only take so much more time. <laughs> you guys uh, better get them donations in, man. Excuse me, Mr. Cav uh, Johnny Kavnagash. Um, <laughs> do you mind sitting down? We'd like to have a nice chat. We're probably for like another okay, two hours uh, or so. Fell, did you mind if I pop in before your turn? Fine. Pop in before my turn. It's cool. So, so I can get over Whatever. to you guys to help out. Nah, that's cool. So I just wanted to delay until I was healed up. Okay, <laughs> so um, I will run over to here with two actions, and then I will battle Medicine Muck. Um, so that's 12 hit points for you, Muck. And I'll cross you off the list. So you went before Feldir, got it. Yes. Yep. Yep. And that just done my turn, so I will turn over. And I'm yep. now in range for reactions as well. And right. attacks. Yes. It's time to go uh, go wild, go crazy. Uh, do it. 32. Oh, Woo, nice. A 32 is a crit. That's, that's yeah. a crit. That is 27 not the proper is a damage. Hit. That is not the proper damage for either of those. So he is probably extra not going to make it. Extra five and another eight. He's <laughs> probably not going to make it. Uh, uh, so that is what? Um, that is a total 16. of 46 damage. Yep. And this is what happens. Blat. Oh, nice. man. Well, can I still get that for <laughs> every time? <laughs> oh, I live for that for it's safe. Uh, come over here, and then you know what I go. Oh, well, actually, I could. I definitely did I do have the movement. What is it? Because yeah. I am Shit. a very fast monk. Yeah, um, you're a monk. Yeah, I can make it there. Yeah. No problem. Uh, and now I'm just going to punch this guy. Minus eight. 20 to hit. Flat footed. Sure does. Nine damage. Probably more than nine damage. Oh, yeah, never mind. Oh, it damn. Enough. It's magic. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, damn. I'm glad I turned into a bear for this. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, just like one shot this fight. I just went pow pow. Whoosh, pow. <laughs> What's crazy? I still have a spell slot. <laughs> well, that was uh, quite an eventful encounter. I am so happy to have a healer. <laughs> Oh my god, I, that could, <laughs> thank god I was healed up. Thank you very much. I love how you guys think I don't heal. No, you do, but it's like- You don't I, do good heal like that! Oh, bullshit, I've got the heal spell. I just don't have it at level 10. I don't have, oh, I don't have D10s at 3 -D level 3 yet. We don't, we don't have level 3 spells prepared yet because we haven't been level 5 for a day. <laughs> okay, that is- But, <laughs> but- I don't have to hold on to this freaking wand anymore. I can turn it over to her now that she's shown she's a healer and not a <laughs> ranger. Watch this. Um, Are you ready? He has a wand of heal as well. That's level <laughs> two. And and you bought a wand? <laughs> oh, no. No no one told you we had a wand of heal already, did Hey, we? having more than one doesn't hurt because you can only use them once per day. So it just gives yeah. us more heals per day. Yep, we need those. There we go. <laughs> I think some stuff. Lyra yeah. is immediately going to run to start um, treating wounds on Sasha. And she's like cooing and petting her and saying, I'm so sorry, the nasty man hurt you. <laughs> well, Belvia, we did it. Well, we certainly did. What, what exactly did we do? I, how is the to... orb? Have a look at the orb. Oh, orb, orb, right, right, right. Yes, I'll go and take a look at that. I, I cast um... heal on myself to show I'm not a shitty healer. <laughs> <laughs> And max heal, max level two heal. Guy, he, person heals himself must be a paladin. Oh, is this, is this like right. the, uh, I heal arc. you guys so much? I have four classes now. This is the arc of the story where like Muck is jealous of the new friend that comes in. <laughs> <laughs> He's like always trying to one up uh, Gia. <laughs> okay, so I know, like, is it just? Like battle medicine, you can only do like one per day. Or... That's once per everyone per day, yes. Okay, but like tree, tree wounds, wounds, you can it's do once per hour until you okay. get continual recovery, and it's every ten yeah. minutes. Yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna come over here and I wanna treat wounds on both Feldir and Luca. Oh, okay. well, I'll do yeah. Luca while you're treating Feldir and. No, I can do two people. <clears throat> so additional. Okay. Ward medicine. <laughs> I took ward medicine. Right now I can stop caring about <laughs> all of you. I can go do my own damn thing. <laughs> all right, fine. No, muck, muck, senpai. <laughs> <laughs> No, please. Do you have no, one please. of those heal animal spells? Yeah, you well, got I do. Him. I do, I but like... what about Vlad? Vlad has some, some pain. He's got a thorn <laughs> okay, in okay, his paw. Right. So that's I'm big. assuming I just want medicine, my, my, right? My horse yes. got like critted to death. <laughs> well, you should 29. stop putting it in the way. Uh, <laughs> we came up the stairs. I don't know what. Well, why are you got to be first? <laughs> I don't Sasha know how medicine works important. other than that. I heal Sasha for 42. Thank you. She's back to full. Um, Alice. Yes. My treating wounds on the two of them. Yeah. Um, I rolled a medicine check, which I'm assuming is how that, that works. Yes. Yeah. And that's now, a crit success. Okay. So how much? 48 like? to each of them. Yeah. So that's 48. Okay. To each of them. Four and die also, eight. Yes. And if they have any wounds, it treats it as well, which is one of the big good things mm. of treat wounds. Not going to yeah, lie. They're not. They don't have wounds. So. Dirt into our wounds. Yeah, so. rolled real bad. Oh, yeah. but it's so a good thing. job. You got nine apiece. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, then... if I did treat wounds, it would have been at least <laughs> ten. <laughs> no, probably not. I probably wouldn't have critted it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, while that's happening, can I have a look at this orb? Uh, sure. A couple of things happen though. Uh, oh, you God. do see the wand kind of uh, kind of fall out of his belt there. <clears throat> Uh, it is a wand of heal, second level. Uh, mm -hmm. You see that the maul that he was using, it returns to, like, wood when he dies. And the wood splinters, and then a dagger kind of falls out of it. That's weird, right? I mean, you like saw him put the dagger into it and turn it into okay. a big metal <laughs> oh, hammer. Okay. Uh, the, <clears throat> the orb. So... So as you're looking at this orb, Lyra, yeah. you you feel your you feel like your very soul touched by it, right? Uh, it it moves closer to this star-shaped pedestal, and it dips down. Uh, those four columns there, they were holding like a, a flat square, uh, like roof, right? So water yeah. wouldn't pour down the stairs if it yeah. rained. And it kind of dips lower and gets pretty close to the tower as it spins around. And not only yourself, but all of you are just, uh, you're like enveloped in an energy. Something that's called a resonant reflection. And I'm going to tell you what that does. Actually, I'm going to see if there's a handout oh, you for just, it. Oh, you just gone mute. I went mute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't, couldn't hear you You said you're going and then... No. Uh, I'm going to look and see if they have this covered here as a, uh, in the, in the, he didn't go uh, mute. He just stopped talking. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for, um, whatever this is. Uh, so what a resonant reflection is, is it is a, like a, it's like a magical item that invests itself to all of you. Uh, but it doesn't count as an invested item. Oh, cool. So it's like a boom. Yeah. And I'm wondering if there's a handout for it is what I'm... Cool. Hmm. Otherwise, I've got to, like, type it out. And... Tragic. Nobody <laughs> wants to see that. Okay. Nobody wants to see. I guess I should role play for a second while I look through this. That'd be cool. Huh. People have something to do. Well, that was a tower climb. This field I'm gonna, while well, you're so. looking that up, after I yeah. heal these two, I'm gonna go to the corner and throw up a little bit. Oh, but you were part oh. of a circus. What did you do in the last circus? Oh, you're barfing. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're actually like looking for a new ringmaster right now, so this is perfect. <laughs> like, I, what what experience do you have? Like, have you got like a resume? I <laughs> did like trick shots with my bow. Oh. Sometimes I was the one doing trick shots. Sometimes I was the target. You Ooh. know. That's, oh, that's cool. That would be a lovely addition to our show. Yes, we, we don't have anything like that yet. No. Actually, it's pretty cool. a... I'll have to show you guys sometime. It's pretty. It was pretty cool. It worked well. 
actually, Lyra, as you brought it up, that is something that I was meaning to talk about. I was wondering if you all would be okay with me possibly announcing or ringmastering for the shows. Huh. Uh, if this you... is for the uh, the pay up, isn't it? No, this isn't for the pay up at all. It's just <laughs> I I feel like I've been around. I know everyone in the circus. I pay them. Hey, I mean, it makes sense listen. that I would. Oh, thank you for the follow there, Tech Gal seventy eight. Oh, thank you. I think it. Well, would... personally, I yes, I have no interest in taking on a leadership role. Yeah, I am happy to be the medic, although I fear I may be outclassed there now. <laughs> Not right, everyone. Can you guys see I this handout? Where I can. Yes. <laughs> of the Aaron Tower top. Yes, oh yes, yes. resonant reflection. You see what that does. <clears throat> You double the number of normal hit points when resting, meaning you regain double your constitution modifier multiplied by your level. The healing you gain from long-term rest is similarly doubled. In addition, you can focus this healing energy to articulate your body's natural, accelerate your body's natural healing process even further. Activate for two actions, uh, frequency once per day, Effect, you gain fast healing three for one minute, which means that you heal three every one of your turns. The amount of fast healing increases by one for every two levels that you have beyond fifth. Very nice. So that's super useful. Is it once per day per character or? You all I assume have so. It. Yep. You yep. all yep. have it. Okay. Or I was just wondering if it was that or once per day for the whole party. Nope. Like one per, okay. That's not bad. That helps a lot. That's brilliant. <laughs> so we all have a little self heal now. <laughs> all have a little self heal. I am going to bring Bevan in, and I'm. I don't know that we are ready for anything, but I. Oh, and is that Fumbus on the um, fighting Kavnagash? Is that what? Fumbus fighting Kavnagash. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Oh, the picture. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to bring him in, and we're going to make him talk to us. Ooh. Bevan, talk to me. What's going on? All righty, I can do that. Give me one sec to get somewhere not stupid, because I was playing some Fallout while uh, <laughs> wow, doing this for you guys. Fallout. He wasn't even watching you guys get... I am watching. I'm listening as well. Crit baby. Um, so, we, we are, what we're going to do is first I'll roll the physical books. We have Bonsai, Chai, and Acid all in there, um, in the running. Okay. So, I'm going to roll twice. Um, the only time I will re-roll is if, no, because you know what? Chai didn't get a Game Mastery Guide, so we can roll twice, can't we? All right. So, the winner of the Game Mastery Guide for tonight is... Phil, as of 69. For the Game Mastery And we're going to roll it for the Game Mastery Guide, the physical Game Phillip, Mastery Guide. You won the physical Game Mastery Guide, brother. Because you can hear me and not Bevan. <laughs> Unless you're watching. And do, 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 do. He is so amazed and excited. He's speechless. <laughs> and then Chai oh. is the winner of the Beast Cards, which I believe that she got the... Uh, the book yesterday. She's well, like set. Yeah, she has bestiary uh, one battle cards. Congratulations, uh, Chai. And, and I then I am going to roll one as well, right? No, bestiary yep. two. Wow. Yeah, I bestiary got bestiary two. And yeah. the and winner like of the um, AP books like is Bonsai. <laughs> and the winner of what now is Bonsai? The AP. The, oh, the Extinction AP Curse set. 1 and 2 with Bonsai. Pokemon. Well, congrats, Bonsai. Uh, now you can run Extinction Curse yourself and see if uh, your players can finish it in less than 13 sessions. <laughs> and um, to give you all the grand total of what we um, earned, including, and in this one I'm going to include, the fact that Roll20 is matching all donations up to $50,000 for Code 2040, we have earned, I think, a little over 1000 Oh because for Code God. 2040, we earned um, $690. Oh and God. for Color of Changed, we earned $360. That is $1,050 this whole weekend. Wow. So I'm I'm pretty proud. Wow, you need to $690 I mean, is nice time. Oh, yeah. Why, did nobody listen to me? 
well, or do you just want to see that players, number? The, no, the players can't hear you live as you talk, so unless they're uh, unless but, they're cheating and listening to, to your uh, nice your happen. stream. Nice gotcha. <laughs> yep. Well, yeah, I'll go take that in so chat. He, he gave us the numbers there, players, that you guys couldn't hear if you weren't watching the stream. So he's going to type those in. Uh, and cheating, so. <laughs> here we go. Oh, Matt, Matt Mistel's completely smashing Kapnagash. Uh, us? Excuse you. <laughs> yes, us? You're welcome. One sec, I'm typing a lot. <laughs> I'm screaming. <laughs> hey. Hey. What? Okay. Folks in the game. Nice. All right, there you go. So our, uh, total, That's really good. our total amount of donations across two days is $1,050. Nice. That's a lot. That's a lot Not bad money. for a channel with uh, a... Yeah, and it's all going to good cause. What do we have, 500 followers? I think we're, <laughs> over, about, we're over 600 now. Oh, dang. Yeah, uh, not too bad at all. Yeah, and... I yep, so us, I will uh, get a hold yes. of the folks who are our winners in a few minutes, and... Okay. Uh, Otherwise, you guys, you know, do any little RP you feel like doing. Um, well, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm going to jump back in, do a little RP. Uh, we're probably yeah, going to have, have an early. We're going to have an early sesh tonight. Clearly, since all of our donations are done, unless that money keeps rolling in and we get more. If the, yeah, um, if they keep rolling in, I mean, the our donations are still going to be active for a few hours. Whether or not we're we're not going to be doing the giveaways anymore, but I mean, that doesn't stop you from donating. Correct. And sharing the links. You can still share the donation links for a few hours. In fact, if we go uh, raid anywhere, you uh, could always uh, maybe, depending on who we raid, but I think I know who we're raided, and I'm pretty sure they've already been warned that we're going to pull this. So, All right. Well, I'm going to go back to the players, Bevan. Thank you for that. And, yeah, uh, no problem. Yeah. So what about that, guys? Over $1,000. Yeah. Wow. That's Drops crazy. to the biscuits. Especially the uh, big spenders. <laughs> I mean, I think we had multiple people that donated Good multiple rolls. times to try and get them uh, snazzy giveaways. Mm -hmm. um, definitely had more in donations than the cost of all our giveaways by a ton. Especially since yes. uh, <laughs> some of them were are technically free because, you know, they're digital things. Yeah. And yeah. what was it? John was giving away like his own copies of things uh, he had extra copies due to some uh paizo mix-ups where they sent him extra stuff or he but forgot still. to cancel a, a <laughs> sub and had bought it himself because he forgot he had a sub so yeah i mean john went above cool. and beyond for uh yeah. for this that we set up uh roll 20 mm -hmm. asked us if we wanted to do something with us told us they would match our mm -hmm. uh donations and you know I anything that helps people regardless of of who you're helping uh to to live a better life safer life is worth doing mm -hmm. so thank you to everyone who donated that's sort of cool on y'all rock yeah. mm -hmm. so let's let's do loot i know you guys want to know loot oh right? we, we do like loot. of course there's not a <laughs> lot of loot um there is the second level heal wand yes and then uh, I believe someone has been wanting a plus one striking dagger for a while. Someone has. <laughs> so, I mean, you find that. Yes. So, uh, like, pick up the dagger from the shards. Um, it's got your name on it. it says, oh, Aaron sweet. Saul, yeah. This is for you. Love Cabin I'm like. Dash. <laughs> That's why I tried to give like, you so much. Thank you, like, you the I'm babe. trying to give it to you. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, I've got loot for you, just kill me. The blade is shaped like a succubus wing. It's it's cool. No, it's not. <laughs> too soon, too soon. <laughs> no, my goddess used to be a succubus. It's a long story. Okay. She she got better. <laughs> She's good now. Used to be a uh, I used to be a newt. I got better. <laughs> that's as far as, you know, uh, this particular book goes. Amazingly Chai, you put enough. that wand in your inventory, right? I have put nothing anywhere. Okay, the level two <laughs> wand, the, the the wand of heal level two will be yours. Okay. So it will not be tracked in party treasure. It will be tracked on your inventory. Um, I don't know. Oh, did that rooster come through? Yes. Yeah. That's from, that's from uh, something going on behind me. <laughs> it was great. 
All you guys know is is that with the threat of the Zolgas vanquished here, there's really Everything not much seems to be left solved to do. for us. Yeah. We're like, well, um, I don't not... know what that was all about, but hopefully that helps stops the druids being all funky. Do you feel better, Mark? <laughs> do you think the land I will be better? Okay. You see that I definitely Aeon feel a bit better kinda, it's from the uh, low and a little brighter. Yeah. Did you guys feel something a little weird? Uh, oh, yes. Yes, the, uh, that stone is quite odd. Maybe it was thanking us. Yeah, blessing uh, from a dead god, most likely. Uh, Aridith, you think? That is, well, this is a tower of his. I suppose so. That's a fair point. Uh, I certainly hope we don't get into five more books of <laughs> Oh, no, struggling. I think this is... Uh, no, a GI... Oh, you will you... notice, yes. Our circus, while well, obviously we are mostly just a circus, we seem to get dragged into a few things on the side. So, yes, although but I hope this was the last of it, we'll never <laughs> I hope see this will be the end things. of it. But I should warn you that sometimes we live a dangerous lifestyle. Uh, you prepared for that? <laughs> I suppose you so. know, but if, you know, danger and adventure leads for a good tale and an exciting life. Yes, I suppose as a gnome, you need to keep things exciting. Yeah, a little bit. So, yeah. sounds good to me. <laughs> Did we ever do with that elemental down below us? Uh, should... Yes, I released it. It's all good. We released uh, well, it. Should we be concerned about going back uh, down? We'll, we'll I mean, we could all climb down here. <laughs> I have Featherfall now, so I'll just like jump off and cast Featherfall oh, myself. We'll all jump off together. And what about it. Sasha? Oh shit! <laughs> I'll be with Sasha, I'll stay on Sasha and cast Featherfall on her. No, it just—it's like Skyrim, right? You jump off the mountain with the horse, and the horse dies, but you're okay. No, no, I'm not just kidding, Sasha. I just always have to watch her die. I'm very distressed. <laughs> I was like being nice to that guy, and then he killed my horse. I'm so glad he's dead. <laughs> what did you learn? That people who kill horses need to be killed. Uh, yes. No. Uh, um, uh, something, <laughs> them, I suppose. Something like that, I suppose. Including yes. the cops who bring them to protests. But that being said, <laughs> we have a long walk ahead of us, my friends. Um, specifically, the uh, circus is a few miles away. Um, uh, so. Out of curiosity for our friend here, were you, and I kind of like point out to the woods that we're going to be walking through, walking, running through those woods while being pursued by whatever you were being pursued by? No. Uh, Chai the specifically doesn't know this. Different. So mm -hmm. here's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Chai's character kind of relays just a little bit of information that she was, uh, she thought she was wandering through the Goblin War Forest up uh, in the Isgur area. But she was really running through the, the forest in um, in Kionan. and the better one. and she ran into a uh, small encampment of orcish types who didn't take kindly to the pink-haired halfling. I mean, Gnomi, <laughs> and began chasing her. And then uh, apparently, Alceta opened a door for her and dropped her right in front of your faces. Okay. Well then, uh, it looks like you're far from home. Uh, luckily, we recently had a, a cart open up in our circus. Uh, not for bad reasons, but because someone left. Uh, so, I suppose that well, can you be did. You oh. also had a cart open up for bad reasons. Yes, but I'm not going to tell them about the bad reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Will I go to break the murder and stuff slowly? You like, know, <laughs> you gotta slowly. ease into yeah. the murder a so, little Something bit. happened <laughs> a little while ago. I mean, we we don't know. She could be one of those people that's like, oh, the haunted house? I want to live there. <laughs> <laughs> Why would we tell the new employee about the murder? <laughs> that seems like a little bit of a stretch. We are... Happy to have you if you want to join us. I understand if you needed to get home, but if you are a wanderer like us, you are always welcome. Yes. The Circus of Wayward Wonders is here to provide entertainment wherever you may wander. Exactly. Sounds like a fun adventure for now. I'll probably make it back home eventually, or not. Yeah, that's a fair statement. You live a long time, don't you? You've got time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lots of life to... All of explore. us are humans, so, hey, you know... I am going to live a well, very... Well, mostly human. 
Yes, right. because you want to dabble in necromancy. Don't don't whoa, get it. Whoa, 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 do not, don't, 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 put, don't put label me like that. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> label you. I said you were dabbling. <laughs> like... On a side note, how good are you with religion on you, clerical? And you know what? No, we'll, no, no, I'll, no, I'll no, 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 no. He is going to try and pull you into some weird stuff. He tried this with me too. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to create undead. I don't want to create undead. That's unethical. That is unethical. That's, um, that's, that's why we don't kill him. We agree on that. Did we find anything else no, treasure-wise that we might be concerned about? No. 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 No coins or anything. I mean, you got you got a magical weapon and you got a yep. healing wand. Um, yep. So essentially, this adventure path has given you plenty of healing. Sure. Yes, okay. it has. I am worried about that. It feels like we kind of will probably need it. <laughs> I mean, we've been needing it. Well, yeah. like Age of Ashes, we'll need it. Oh, <laughs> I still think Age of Ashes is unbeatable. Oh, gosh, serious. <laughs> oh, man. I honestly do. It's, it's very see, rough. I, mean, do you I did see... manage to do 34 damage in one hit, which I'm still really proud about. In Age of is... Do you see how high one. def this map is? It is oh, it's gorgeous. I love it's it. pretty nice. Ooh. Oh, I yeah. Bet they used uh, like, mapping software look, for it. You can even see the empty graves in the church. You can! That's so oh, good! Oh, wow. You can... Oh, wait, it was facing that way? I thought it was the other way the entire time. No. Oh, wait, no, it was that way. Never mind. <laughs> strange. I don't well, see empty graves. We're but probably going to be leaving this little town now. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I see I see the, the church with a graveyard, but, I mean, it's not... Yeah, it doesn't really stand out too much, but you can you can see it if you. See I mean, I'm at 250. percent Yeah, I can see some some gray some gray areas that might be or brown areas that might be open <laughs> graves. But... The people on the stream don't even see it. It's hilarious. Uh, yeah. But do you remember? But we're probably leaving Gabberton behind. Do you remember this guy? Yes, uh, I remember I'm knocking him out. Undead, I can't. Oh wait, wait. oh oh. <laughs> Undead, Jellico bounce bounced. <laughs> yes, why is, why is, please give why us is that. Shift click like... not making it big. Oh damn, there he is. Because it's Shift Z. Oh, it's Shift Z. <laughs> <laughs> Just give us an undead Jellico so I can bind undead. No wait, hold on. <laughs> yeah, look at that he clown. looks undead now. That's one of Madame Dusklight's mini uh, minions. We beat him once. We can beat him again. Oh, thanks. Oh. <laughs> Subscribe. Thank you for the subscri uh, subscription, Tech Gal. Tech Gal seventy eight subscribed with Twitch Prime. Apparently, my bot is not working because it didn't make any noise. Mm. Mm. Damn, I hate it when the bots don't do their job. Yeah, I hate it when the bots <laughs> just quit working. We're gonna fire them. It's fine. <laughs> do we want to sell off these valuables we found on the way through town? Uh, uh, yeah, I was going to ask you all about that. Um, do we want to put some money into the circus? I mean, I would think so. Uh, 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 I mean, what have we not gotten go? enough? I, 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 I'm not really too... I don't need much personal effects. Yes, I, I don't need much I, either. I plan on putting in most of my in income that is disposable into uh, giving us... Oh, what do you guys call them now? A days of upgrades, if you will. Uh, well, uh, uh, well, yes, uh, we're going to need one of those spinny boards for our uh, new friend. Yes. yes. And especially so if we are going to, especially if we are going to try and um, outdo our old place of employment, I feel like we should begin to. Of course, yes. Um, wasn't there a mention of like a temple under Escobar? Oh, uh, yes. Right, I completely forgot about that, and then I was just like, oh crap. Yeah, mm. that those in the Succubus's writings, possibly, there was a mention of them organizing possibly in a temple under the city of Escobar. Yes. This might not be over then. An abandoned temple of Aridin, if I believe the note. Yes, no. I've put Moonstone Temple under the city, Temple to Aridin, protected by the city question mark. And I mean, I, could, could we just <laughs> hand it off to authorities and have them deal with it? I mean, in my experience, uh, the authorities tend to suck. Um, like, do, <laughs> do you remember, like, what happened to the sheriff in this town yes. and the mayor in this town? That's, that's one died, one we had to save. thing to say during these trying times when the <laughs> NWA would reply with, 
The sweet, sweet three words of freedom. <laughs> Fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? to be clear, the sheriff in this town died. The mm. mayor got captured and we had to save him. No, I get the feeling we might be able to handle this better. <laughs> So, it's a sad day when a clown does a better job than a sheriff. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But sadly, that's the days we live in today. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so, with that said, a few things do come across as you're uh, meandering back to the circus. Um, if you go back to the uh, Heritage of Blessed Lightning, uh, Harlock Hamdeal, who is now a... Uh, uh, someone you can call upon for help if you need, the druid leader of, of that particular Gosrin faith. Um, he's still deeply troubled and very ashamed that he himself um, wasn't able to, to stop this. Um, but he thanks you greatly for helping him cleanse the hermitage. And he does vow to make it a sacred place again. And uh, Muck... He would offer you, if you wanted it, a, I don't want to say position, but an official, you know, like, joining of that particular Gosrin faith, if you wanted. Sect? Yeah. D d uh, sure, I'll, uh, I'll pass the word along. I'll, I'll tell others of the area and uh, send those who who are of the faith to you. Yeah, he's very appreciative of that. Uh, that is about all you get from the Hermitage of Blessed Lightning. Uh, mm -hmm. When you go back to Aberton, which you have to to get to the circus anyway, um, <laughs> you are met by the mayor uh, who uh, throws sort of, I, I don't want to call it a parade, but it's more like, you know, when, when they pass out the key to the city mm -hmm. in like smaller towns. You know, and they, they, they cut a ribbon and name a building after somebody. I, I don't know who, whichever one of you thinks you deserve it. Probably Luca, <laughs> to be honest. I was going to say, it's going to be Luca. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we'd all be like, oh, they are, that'd be they nice. And Luca goes, well, here is 50 treatises. <laughs> Here's my thesis on why. Oh, actually, as, as, believe it or not, all the paperwork you signed when you entered the circus, there's actually a clause there that says if there was ever a point where a building was named after a member, it would be the treasurer. So... Because of that clause, you've all signed it. You should have read the fine print. I, uh, so, <laughs> so some building, some new, some new building. You know, they're adding on to the church or whatever. It's called the Luca Wing or something. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> and uh, hey, you, you don't even get a whole building. You are all pronounced Abertonians in perpetuity, as <laughs> good as anyone born in the city itself. Um, Yay. upon returning to. Uh, upon returning to the circus, the uh, the professor uh, does inform you that he thinks it's time to move on. And professor, I should probably pass along Bryce's apology to oh, you. Bryce, he stopped. I don't by. know if he's popped in. He did. I'm glad. I thought yes, he might. He, did. he, he respected in. you a lot. He came in. He said, "Fuck this shit. I'm out." Sang a nifty song. Yeah. <laughs> that, that sounds it. like him. And that rode off like into the wind. <laughs> God, we love that man. Oh, I miss Bryce. <laughs> we have a a new member of the circus as well. Oh, is it a cleric? Uh, is... I prayed that you would be be accompanied by a cleric with all the death and destruction Bryce told me in the stories of your travels. <laughs> yes, yeah. I fear there is a lot of divine providence in our uh, adventures. Yeah, there's a lot of religious people in this group. It's surprising. Uh, for some reason, I'm the one who knows the most about religion. I have no idea about any of it. Yeah, I only just got a wisdom modifier. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm more of the fair weather worship. Like, I'll go in on the holidays that are important, but, like, otherwise I don't really step foot. <laughs> and yet you are so zealous when you want to be. <laughs> yes, Sam. Yeah, I guess. Um... <laughs> So I'm just could, zealous all the time, you know. Keep it so up. So we could throw another circus performance. However, your prestige cannot rise higher than five, which you guys managed to get by critting the very first one. <sighs> so any shows that you put on would just be a waste of gold because you begin getting less and less gold as you show on based on your prestige. 
I'm considering Lucas the current wing roster. I'm assuming that's not going to happen. Well, can we do like Time a phone it in one that we get no bonus from? Like we, we don't get any money. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I you, think can, you can, like I mean, you, can you know, throw one. We can hand wave throw in, like, a, a farewell circus. That seems reasonable. Yeah, like, so, yeah. like, thanks for the laughs and the murder. And, like... <laughs> and you, you know, we had a know. great time dealing with all your problems. Goodbye! <laughs> <laughs> and then it, then it says this. It says, the show must go on. So eventually, the heroes must consider other venues. Escadar is the island's largest city. But Eskadar is also the home of Mistress Dusklight's Celestial Menagerie. Some heroes what might have an unpleasant her? history with Mistress Dusklight, and the agents she sent to Aberton show that she hasn't forgotten about her new rivals. Eskadar is the hero's next stop, and the mysteries there are revealed in Legacy of the Lost God. Nice. Oh, we finished book one! Moving on, we, we finished the it. book! We did it! We did what? it! Uh, 44, uh, so 46 hours, basically, well, some along those lines. We had a, we had a one hour episode. Um, we had some. Oh, oh, so it's only like 40. Um, <laughs> we had. Only 42. So we had 12 four hour episode. No, we had 11 four hours, so 44, a one hour is 45, and a three hour here, 48 hours. Two entire days. Woo! <laughs> well, that's like a that's only like a third of a JRPG. We're fine. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> the, like how, uh, how many days? Won... Can we assume that we we get multiple days rest before we get to Escadar? Uh, sure, we're gonna say um, you guys. Can take, I mean, system. you're not you're not in any hurry. Yeah. yeah. So let's figure out as a group how many days of downtime you want, and you can have those days before you get to Escobar. Because as soon as you arrive, things happen. Okay. All so right, your downtime, crafty guy. Yeah, so downtime yeah. will be here. So how many days do we want? <sighs> how many days does the crafter want? Well, it depends on what we want to make. Now, each day I can make us healing potions, but those die at the end of the day. So yeah. Yeah. that's yeah. kind of a moot point. Yeah, that's for when we're adventuring. Yeah, so before we get into this lengthy discussion they're going to have about downtime yeah. crafting, <laughs> I want to say thank you all for the donations. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for sticking with us for nearly 50 hours of a single book. Um, the, the next book is a little bit smaller. Uh, it only has three parts instead of four. So, you know, instead of 48 hours. hours, we might only do 36. Um, <laughs> and with that said, the next time that you will see us streaming will be Friday when Philip. It's going to take us to find the stars. And with that said, we're going to let Bevan, who I'm bringing in right now so he can hear me. With all of that said, we're going to let Bevan hit the old uh, raid Psyche Siren button. It has been fun streaming for you guys. We do appreciate all the donations. And, you know, maybe we'll do another donation run for something else later. I'm sure, I mean... It's only been five months and how, how many days in 2020? You know, I'm sure Godzilla will attack Los Angeles. And New York and <laughs> I mean, aliens. I mean, we already know they're real. They're going to show up soon. Yeah, we know the aliens are real. We found that out this year. So, so yeah, I'm going to send us over to Psyche Siren. Corinne will uh, start sharing our donation links there, too, just to see if we can get a few more bucks out of our friends there. And, you know, hashtag rate the roll, guys. We'll take Shadow Run at this point. <laughs> All right. I'm going to put Six, it on the uh, stream five, ending. Four, and three, two.